About a year ago, my wife cheated on me with my brother. Well, I did it because I was lonely. Uh, do you think your brother is the father to your boys? Big possibility. Uh, before the show, we, you took a DNA test? Yep, and my wife did a lie detector test. Did you happen to sleep with his brother on your anniversary? Yes, I did. Do you think that she's still sleeping with him? It's hard to say. It was more than one time that we fooled around. Are you sleeping with her now? This is your brother. It blows my mind that you would sleep with your brother's wife. Do you feel bad at any level at all? I forgot about it. Yeah, it's easy for you. It's not your wife. You don't seem very torn up about it. Not really. Of all people, why, why the brother? I discovered I had feelings for him. You sent her a picture of your penis, right? Yeah. As I sent it to this guy, just to, just to make it and rub it in a little bit more. You know what? You know what the problem is here. Michael's too decent of a human being, and you're a jerk. All I'm gonna tell you is if that lie detector test comes back, or where you guys lied, all you guys will kiss my ass. This is what you want. These are probably the most important results, though, right here. Yes, right. The results of the DNA test given to you and Dan is that. Welcome to the show. My guest is Michael. Michael, why don't you tell me why you're here today? Uh, because uh, about a year ago, my wife cheated on me with my brother. About a year ago, your wife cheated on you with your brother. Yep. And why and, uh, did she? My marriage is extremely rocky, and it's not going all that well yet. And I also want a paternity test done on my two boys. You want a paternity test because you believe you're not the father and that uh, yeah. is um, your, uh, do you think your brother is the father to your boys? Big possibility because she told me that when, after I had found out about, every, about her having an affair, um, she told me that she had feelings for him since before my oldest one was born. So that made me start thinking. How, how old are your boys? I'm just curious. Uh, three and one. Three and one. Yep. And how, first of all, how did you find out that your wife was sleeping with your brother? Me and my brother used to hang out a little bit, you know. He'd help me out, I'd help him out. Well then, in February of last year, she, or he quit basically talking to me, period. I'd ask him to help me with something, he goes, no, I got other plans, and he'd take off with my wife. Right there, what, didn't you say, you know, that's my wife, why are you taking off with her? Yeah. He said nothing's going on, they're just friends. That's all both of them would tell me for over a month. Okay, and so they would take off and what, spend the night? They'd take off for the day, the night, everyone's Okay, Okay, come on, it's, your wife disappears overnight with your brother and, and you don't confront her right away? I did confront her, she just kept telling me nothing was going on. Did, she, did you say, you know, you spend one more night away from home you know, I'm going to lock the door that's over? Well, I couldn't really lock the door because it was my, my parents' place, but... No, she'd go down to her... Why are you living at your parents' house? I'm not anymore. Why were we? Yeah. I, didn't, I had quit my job because she said we were drifting away because I was spending too much time at work. Because I was you working... Qu you quit your job because your wife said you were drifting away yep. from each other? Mm-hmm. And how were you supposed to support you and your family? I ended up getting a part-time farm job. A part-time what job? Farm job. A farm job. M what College. were you doing full-time that consumed? Um, I was working on a tugboat company up in uh, downtown St. Paul, Minnesota. And so were you gone long periods oh, of time? I was gone 9 to 11 days, 13 okay. to 14 hours Okay, so it was almost, I, I can understand now, it wasn't like you were just working a 40-hour job. No. You were no. actually gone at long periods of time. I was gone for 13 couple. to 15 hours a day. But you came home every night? Yep, I was home every day. Oh, I thought you were gone 13, 14 days. No, I was um, working 11, uh, 9 to 11 days straight. Oh, but so you, you would come home every yep. night? You know, I've always taken care of my family. I've how, how long have you been married? Four years. Four years. Yep. And last year, you found out that your wife slept with your brother. Yep. Did you actually catch him in the act? She told you? She told me the day after he went to jail. But she wasn't going to tell me, but I had to sit there and 
basically badger, not nothing physical, no nothing else. It, I just had to keep. You just kept wearing her down. Yep. She finally broke down and said she can't lie anymore. And I go, you slept with him, didn't you? She goes, yeah. I'm like, okay, how many times? She goes, once. I'm like, you're still lying. She goes, okay, twice. I still don't believe it. And the number just kept going up. She told me only twice. That's all she, I could get out of her. Well, I still really don't believe it. Okay. And, asked, and she told you this last year? Yep. And I can sit there and ask her right now, and she says because she was stupid. That's I'm, her reason for sleeping with your brother? Yep, because she was stupid. And she, it, this all came about because your brother was going to jail? Because she knew I wouldn't start a, a war with him if he's sitting in Oh, he was jail. safe from you. Yeah, exactly. He was safe in prison. Yep. So That's, she figured, if I'm ever going to tell my husband that I slept with his brother, now's the time to do it. Mm -hmm. When uh, she finally told me, <laughs> right after that, I was so mad, I decided I'm going drinking. I drank for over two weeks. Straight? I didn't sleep for a week. I didn't eat for a week. And oh, you found weeks. out that she had sex with your brother on your anniversary? Yep. And you're still with her. Yeah. Do you feel bad at any level of law? I forgot about it. Yeah, it's easy for you. It's not your wife. The results of the DNA test given to you and Dan is that. Before this, this happened, did you, did you have reason to trust your wife? You believed in everything I she said? I trusted her up until about halfway through February. And what, what happened that you stopped Just trusting her? Just all the signs of what The she signs she started going out with her yep. brother, run, yep. you know, taking yeah, off for the day. Because the first time was our, the night of our anniversary. The night before, I was all excited about making her a nice dinner and everything else. Because the night after that, we had planned on going out to the movies and everything else. I had a babysitter lined up, and she just flipped out on me. For, what? She just went nuts. She started a fight, a humongous fight with me. She basically, you're saying she picks a fight with you. Yep. She goes down to this girl's house, and the next morning, I had the entire day planned out. She got home at noon, and I asked her where she was. Well, down at this girl's house, and I go, well, you knew I had m mega plans for the day. She goes, oh, yeah, sorry. She walks away. All of the plans I had made for our anniversary got canceled. Well, then the second time around was when I was going to go spend the night with her and the two boys at this girl's house, and she said no. Well, up there on that night happened to be the second time around that she told me that them two fooled around. Turn on my brother calls me the next morning and I was at work. He's flipping out on me because I had accused him of going down and sleeping with my wife. Well, I had every right. At least I thought so. And he's flipping out on me, threatening to come over and kick the crap out of me at work and all this other stuff. And it's like, go for it. I'll just call the cops on you when you get here. How was, how was the marriage up until, like, she starts seeing your brother. Was she a good wife? She's coming yeah, home. She's, she's attentive to yeah. you. She's always been You're happy. Awesome. She's always been great. Did your brother ever do this to bef before with like yes. girlfriends? Yes. Or? He has slept with one of my girlfriends before. And you found weeks. out that she had sex with your brother on your anniversary? Yep. And you're still with her? Yes. And why are you still with her? Because of them two boys and she don't have a job and she has no way to support them two boys. And I do love her. I love, the, I love my family. Now, I know you're hurt that she did this. Um, do you really think that these boys aren't yours? Well. I mean, look, I mean, these are a picture of your boys. You tell me. Yeah, I believe they're mine. It's just I wanted to. You want to know for sure. I want to make sure because whether, let's put it this way, whether they come back as not being mine or they are, I'm still going to take care of them. So even if you if these DNA tests come back, 
you're saying, I love these two little yep. guys. I'm still going to be their father. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take care of them. Yes, Diane. Would you stay married to her? Doubtful. Just for her leading me on this long. Did, were you ever able to talk to your brother after you found this out with your wife? Did no. you ever confront him about sleeping no, with your wife? No, I didn't. I, You've never talked to your brother no. about him sleeping with your wife? No, because both the only time I ever talked to him was when I'm drinking, and when I'm drinking, I'm the happiest I guy. would think that would be the time that you would talk to him. You're telling me you're drinking and you don't bring that up? I'm the happiest drunk you'd ever meet. I do not get ornery <laughs> until I start mixing, but... <laughs> until you start mixing. <laughs> start getting me on liquor, like shots and beer. Yeah, I get ornery. I don't really... The main reason why I haven't really brought it up to him or confronted him about it is I just don't want no fist fights. Because that's exactly what, it'll, it, what it would turn into. And that won't solve anything? No. Not a thing. Are you scared of your brother? No. no. He's the last person I'm afraid of. Okay. Um, your brother sent your wife some pictures? Yep. He sent a nude picture of himself to my phone, thinking it was my wife, even though my wife had her own cell phone. Your brother's not too smart, is he? No. Um, do you think that she's still sleeping with him? It's hard to say. She says she's not. Does she say she ever has any feelings for him? Like, I loved him? Not to that extent, but she said that she has had feelings for him since <laughs> was born. So she said she had feelings for your brother before your oldest boy was born. Yep. And that's why you think that maybe... The your two, brother could the be both. The, neither one of them are mine. Uh, before the show, we you took a DNA test. Yep. And I'm assuming your brother must have took a DNA test. Yep. And my wife did a lie detector test and. A lie detector test concerning what? Whether she is still cheating on me. Or okay. Not. Whether she's because she says she's not. Yep. And she say does, does yeah, she, she say says, what? She says she's not. Can you even get past the fact? And and, and I don't know. I mean, I I couldn't. I couldn't speak for anybody but myself, but can you get past the fact, uh, would you uh, able ever to forget that she slept with your brother? Forget about it? No. Were but you able to forgive her? Yes. If you really, you, you could do that, I huh? think so. Okay, and you've never confronted your brother about this? Nope. All I've done is asked him questions on... Um, right, and why? you're not going to, he's going to come out here and you're not going to get into any physical confrontation with him? No. Nope. Okay. Let's bring your brother out. Let's bring Dan out. I'm a liar? A liar. Yeah, we did fool around. Let's and see. it was in March. And it was only for like two weeks. Well, considering she was going to visit your ass in jail every day? That's not my problem. Do I call her and ask her to come visit me? No. Considering a lot of the collect calls, she, you were talking to her. How do I collect call her? We had a phone at Mom and Dad's. The fact of it is, though, you slept with his wife. Yes. Things happen. Things happen? Not things like that. I, I, still, I still regret never doing it, too. You sent her a picture of your penis, right? Yeah. As I sent it to this guy, just to, just to make it and rub it in a little bit more. You know, what, you know what the problem is here? Michael's too decent of a human being, and you're a jerk. Results for Dan. Are you still having sexual relationships with Aaron? The answer is no. And the results for Dan. Dan, you really got to explain to me. I mean, you know, buddies don't do that to each other. You know what some I mean? Of them good friends. No, do. good friends don't do that to each other. This is your, this is your brother. This isn't some guy on the street, the guy down the block, some guy you occasionally know. This is your brother. How do you, I, I mean, I'm sorry. It blows my mind that you would sleep with your brother's wife. Wouldn't it something, some alarm in your body, some voice in your head, 
something go off and say, no, 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 don't do this. No, it didn't. Do you, do you love your brother? Yes, I do, with all my heart, too. With all your that's, heart? That's why we're here now. And you told me that after the first time you two fooled around? What the first time? The first time. It was more than one time that we fooled around. Oh, crap. And it was in two After or three the weeks. First time. First of all, it doesn't seem you're very remorseful. It doesn't seem like you you're not you know you're not too tore up over it, sleeping with your brother's wife. And I got over what, it. I forgot about it. Yeah, it's easy for you. It's not your wife. You can either forgive or forget. It. Again, any, any, do you feel bad at any level of law? Yeah, I feel guilty as hell. Guilty? How about, wow, I wrecked my brother's life? He's, he's at the point, he's got this nice little family, he's got a wife, he's got two little boys, he's, he's happy, he's a hardworking guy, working on a tugboat, working 11, 12, 13 hours a day, and then you just come along and destroy it to the point where he's, a man has to question whether his children are his. I mean, what, what kind of hell did you think you dragged your brother through? Well, probably a lot. Uh, again, you don't seem very torn up about it. Not really. And why is that? I just feel guilty for doing it. Why do you feel guilty? You don't, you, there's no remorse. Yeah, I know that. If you went back, I, would you like sleep with guilty, her again? No, I wouldn't. Why would you? I don't want nothing to do with her. Why? Because she just don't, there ain't nothing between us. No well, why'd you do it the first time? Or nothing. Because at that point in time, it was kind of having feelings, but kind of not. And then it just <laughs> happened. It was kind of like having feelings, but kind of not. Yeah. I was kind of smart, and I was kind of stupid. Both. <laughs> so he slept with his wife. Yes, I did. You sent her a picture of your penis, right? Yeah. But the problem is, it wasn't the her, and I knew is. exactly how it wasn't her, as I sent it to this guy, just to, just to make it and rub it in a little bit more. So you're going to Why would that be rubbing it in? Because he texts me all day saying that, telling me that he was Aaron, and, oh, why don't you come over and sleep with me and come over to this lady's house. Oh, so house you thought it was, you thought no, it was his I, wife. I knew it wasn't, because his wife don't talk to me that way. How does she talk Only to she doesn't say swear words like that. Oh. Did. Let's 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 say it wasn't your brother, right? Right. Your brother's shown incredible restraint here, right? You stand here like you're what you are. Yeah. Now, if your brother came out acting like some jerk, acting like some creep. Maybe you slapping his wife around, getting drunk every night. But I'm not hearing that. I'm hearing about a decent guy trying to take care of his family, working, who loves his wife, who loves his little boys. And you've got the creep old brother, a creep that sleeps with his wife, a jerk off. That's what we got here. Some guy who's so selfish, so selfish that you even get caught and you want to blame him for why you sent a picture of yourself. What do you got, some underlying issues there? Maybe it's not the wife you want. Maybe it's the brother you want. <laughs> Maybe you got to experience that other side while you were away, huh? I mean, most idiots come up with the excuse I was drunk. You're not even smart enough to come up with that. Why one. would I want to use an excuse when I need an excuse? Well, not then for me, why don't you? I wasn't. Well, then why would you sleep with your brother's wife? I don't know. It just happened. It just happened. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Just happened. You were walking down the street and boop. No. What all? What all started it? What all started it was. Uh, one day, I was at work, got home early. She asked me to watch the kids, so we, I watched the kids, told her. She gave me a hug, and that's where it really took off. A hug? She walked up and gave me a hug, and that's where it really took off. 
she gave you a hug and yep. it took off. And then she started, and then she come back after that, asked me to watch the kids a few nights after that, and then uh, and you couldn't say no. No. Why? Because they're my nephews. They ain't my kids. They're my nephews. Yeah, but you know why you're going over there. This was right at my parents' house. But you still slept with her. Yeah. <laughs> He's a sweet talker, trust me. He's a sweet talker? Oh, he is totally different than what he stood there when he was talking He reminds to me. me of a serial killer. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Results for Aaron. Do you have any romantic feelings for or want to be with Aaron? And you answered no. And the results of Aaron's lie detector results. Did you sleep with her? Two or three times. Two or three times. Mm -hmm. Did you feel guilty at all when you were doing it? Yeah, right before I went to jail, yeah, I did. <laughs> and then I just forgot about it. Why'd you, why'd you feel guilty right before you went to jail? Because it was my little brother. I knew I shouldn't have did it, but I did it anyway. Well, how does jail come into play, though? Well, I had a few convictions. I'll go WI No, convictions. but why would you feel guilty all... How about you're not feeling guilty during the fact you're looking down at your sister-in-law? Or maybe up at her? <laughs> so did that, th during that time, you're not feeling guilty. Afterwards, after the fact, during... you didn't say, Man, my God, what did I just do? You didn't think about it after mm -hmm. it happened? You didn't. You just was like putting on your socks. Mm -hmm. And then putting on your socks happened two or three more times. Huh? Are you sleeping with her now? No. You're not, when's the last time you slept with her? Oh, March. This of last, last March? Year. Of last year. A year, year ago. Yes. A year ago. And again, anything you want to say to your brother for doing this? Well, all I can say is apologize to you again, because I can only tell you so many times. And I'm telling you right now that ain't nothing happening between me and your wife. I want nothing to do with her. And I know those kids are yours. <coughs> and after this, I hope you live a very, very wonderful life. Boy, you say it with such conviction. <laughs> no, I really do. I really hope he lives a wonderful life. I could life tell you're this. really torn up about destroying your brother's life. Oh, uh, yeah, kind of, but not in the morning. <laughs> you're a very passionate person, aren't you? No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to your brother? Um, all I'm going to tell you is if that lie detector test comes back, or where you guys lied, all you guys can kiss my ass. Sweet. <laughs> that is exactly what I wanted to hear. You and, all, you and Aaron both will never see me again. That's fine. Them two boys will, whether they are mine or not. They are yours, and you know they are. Well, I'll get proved if they are. I'll get proved right. Well, we're going to find out. I want both of you guys to leave the stage. We're going to talk to Aaron, and we'll bring you back out. You go out that door right there. All right. Let's bring out Michael's wife and Dan's sister-in-law. Let's bring out Aaron. How you doing, Aaron? Good. Good. I, I got to ask you, I mean, listening to this story, why would you come on my show? Because I want to prove to my husband that those two boys are his. And I want to prove to him, yes, I made a mistake. Yes, I slept with his brother. But that was done, and I made a huge mistake. I beat myself up every day. You can ask my husband. I apologize to him every day because it hurts, because my, my husband can't trust me anymore. He walks out the door. Every, day, or every night and wonders, is my, hus or is my wife cheating on me? Is my wife doing something? And it hurts. It hurts. But I made my bed, now I have to lie in it. And it just, I just want to prove to him that at that time, yes, I was dumb. At that time, yes, I made a mistake. But now I am a different person and I'm not doing it again. But his brother, I mean, of all the guys out there, this is a guy that's going to be in his life. 
This is a guy that's been in his life, you know, from the moment he can remember. Of all people, a million guys out there, and you have to pick his brother? I wish I weren't of. Really why do. did you? Why, why the brother? It was a little bit before we got married, I discovered I had feelings for him. But I Why, because he's so charming, Mr. Personality? It, he's a sweet talker, trust he's me. He's a sweet talker? Oh, he is totally different than what he stood there when he was talking to me. He reminds me. me of a serial killer. Yeah, he is. <laughs> the guy in the green shirt up here. Got That's a sweet suit. talker. He was a sweet talker to me. He told me how he had such a horrible childhood, all this and that, and I fell for it. You know, what, you know what the problem is here? I've met a few guys like this in my life. Michael's too decent of a human being, and you're a jerk. And this is what you want. The results of the DNA test given to you and Dan is that Okay, so you got married, right? Mm-hmm. You the two boys, you're saying, all right, whose boys are they? They're Michaels, I know for a fact. So you're saying they're Michaels, for a fact, you know that. Yes. And then you started sleeping with Dan. I, yeah, it was a year ago. Did you ever sleep with Dan before your kids were born? No, I did not. The guilt didn't just eat you up, like, after the first time? Right after you got done, you didn't say, oh, my God, what did I do? I thought about it, but I also felt like there wasn't much between my husband and I because of the fact that he worked so many hours. He would work on a, he was working at a tugboat place or whatever. He was working nine, nine days straight, sometimes ten. He was home. We two get days. women on this show that complain that their husbands are bums and they never work. Yeah. You got a husband that's busting his ass for you. And I understand. <laughs> Seems like a real nice guy, right? He's a very nice guy. Hard worker? He's a very hard worker. Good father? He's a very good father. And that just drove you into the arms of another man? Well, it's just the fact that he was never home. He was, I understand being, work, being at work, yes, but when he was home for two days and I asked him if he'll spend time with his son and I, no, he went fishing. He would go fishing. He would work nights, sleep days. And I'd, I mean, I would not see him. He would be home. I'd see him walk out the door you, with a fishing pole. Did you try to express these feelings before yes. you slept with the his, brother? His mom even knew that I was, I would, his mom would sit there and listen to me tell him. And I would explain it to him. And he said, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Because he now said. what did you hope to achieve by sleeping with the brother? I did not hope to achieve anything. Well, you did it for a reason. Well, I did it because I was lonely. Yeah, his brother happened to be there for the comfort. I'm being totally honest. Did you happen to sleep with his brother on your anniversary? Yes, I did. You did sleep with him. Yes, I did. There's no excuse I mean, excuse that's that's what that's one thing. I mean, bad enough, it's killing him, right? It's tearing him up. It is, and I go. But I now he's thinking, oh my God, on my anniversary, just the cherry on the top. And you say that they're Michael's children. There's no way they could be Dan's. No, they're Michael's children. I know. And that. you're not sleeping with Dan now? No, I'm not. And that's why I came on the show, because I want to prove to him I'm not doing anything. Do you anything. think that these results are going to have any change on your marriage whatsoever? Well, he told me it would, but I don't know. We'll see. He told me it would. I... What happens if Tess comes back, you're lying, Tess comes back, they're not his children? Whatever reason, what if Michael says, I'm done, I'm out of here? Well, if they came back lying, I don't know how it would be possible because I know I'm telling the truth. But if he left me, I wouldn't blame him. I do. I would not blame him one bit. Would he you, would you fight for him? I would. I would fight to him till the end. Was it worth it? No. It was not. It's not worth it. My poor boys are suffering. And that's why I just want to get this, and I want to prove to him that those are his children, that I'm not lying on, or not lying to him. I went, I was in their shoes at, well, the whole time, until I was five years old, when my father came to me, told me I was not his daughter. I was not his daughter. He told you that when you were five years he old? He was five, yes. I was in the kindergarten. 
I remember that. Five years old, you can remember stuff like that. It's got to be pretty difficult for a man to wonder if his children are his. Exactly. And you know what? I want to prove to him, I want to get this test to prove to him those are his children. Because I do not want my kids at the age of 10 years old turning around walking up to their dad and saying, are, are you really if you my know, dad? If you know that that's, you suffered that pain yourself, and that obviously had to be a, a bad thing in your life, right? Mm -hmm. Why would you turn around and do it to the man that you committed your life to? I don't know. I never shut off. All right. Let's bring out Michael and Dan. Michael, first of all, is there anything that you want to say to your wife? Yeah, I'll tell you the same thing I told Dan. Anything on that lie detector t test comes back where you lied or Dan, and if either one of them kids come back, not mine, we're done. You guys will never see me again. I don't blame you, but I have nothing to worry about. I have nothing to worry about. All right, we're going to get to these uh, lie detector results, huh? And this is what you want? That? Out of him, yes. Okay. Results for Dan. Did you have sexual intercourse with Aaron on more than one occasion? He answered, yes. Are you still having sexual relationships with Aaron? He answered, no. Do you still talk to Aaron on a regular basis? He answered, no. Do you have any romantic feelings for or want to be with Aaron? And he answered, no. And the results for Dan, these are probably the most important results though right here. Yes, they are. The results of the DNA test given to you and Dan is that I'm doing this for my husband so that I can prove to him that these are his kids. So we can actually be happy again. I'm nervous because I'm afraid that the two boys won't be mine. And I'm here to prove to my little brother that those kids are his. This is something that needs to be done just to make peace. Feel mm -hmm. our family and kind of bring our marriage back together. I've been taking, for, taking care of them since they both have been born. And I don't want to turn around and find out now that they ain't mine. I'm not their father, no. So I'm here to prove that. I don't know. I also feel good about it because I know finally I can put my husband at peace, make him feel better. And I feel good. So they're all my little brother's kids. He can go have them all he wants. And the results for Dan's lie detector results are that Dan has told the truth. Doesn't take the fact away that you slept with your brother's wife. Though. I know that. Results for Aaron. Did you cheat on your husband with anyone other than his brother Dan? You answered no. Do you still talk to Dan on a regular basis? You answered no. Do you have any romantic feelings for or want to be with Dan? And you answered no. And the results of Aaron's lie detector results is that she has told the truth also. Does, does that make you feel better? Yes, it does. It does? A little bit, yes. I'm, I'm not trying to, I mean, I, I hope that, I, you know what, honestly, Michael, I want you to feel better. What you've, what you've got going inside you, it's got to be, uh, it's got to be tough. And yeah. I hope this, this gives you some, some peace. It, it does, to a, a point. It's still gonna be a little while before everything calms down. But I'm trying my hardest, and apparently so is she. All right.
These are probably the most important results, though, right here. Yes, they are. Looking at that TV, looking at those little boys, do you, do you need these results? No, but I want them. I want to know the results. The results of the DNA test given to you and Dan is that Michael, you are the father. <laughs> and just to be clear, you're the father of both, both boys. Both children, they're yours. Good. Is there anything you want to say to Aaron now? Or Aaron, is there anything that you want to say to your husband? I told you I was telling you the truth. And I'm glad you did. I don't want to wreck our family. But. I already did. I ain't gonna lie. There's nothing to lie about. There's absolutely nothing to lie about. I made a mistake, I know I made a mistake, and you know I beat myself up. I apologize to you every day for what I do. I stay at home every day just to prove to you. I shelter myself just so you don't think I'm cheating on you, because if I don't go anywhere, then I figured you wouldn't think I was cheating. Well, all I know is you've been lying to me for four years about you guys. You lied to me for four years. I kept it. How in the hell was I still supposed to trust you? I don't blame you. I'm not saying you were supposed to. How am I to. supposed to believe you? I if understand. If you lied to me for four years. I don't blame you for not believing me. How many times have I told you I don't, bl I don't not blame you? How are you supposed to be able to trust me? How are you? You're not. But it is a plus that we came here. Because now I don't have to wonder about them two kids. So I'll ask you like I did about six months ago. So what do you want? I want to be with you. Okay then. If I didn't want to be with you, I would have never came here. I would have sat there and let you think I was still cheating on you. I have seen some bozos come on the stage. Well, I've seen a lot of bozos too. There's one standing right here. You know, what, you know what the problem is here? Michael's too decent of a human being. And you're a jerk. Get off my stage. Yeah. Anything you want to say to your brother? Give me time. Other than that, as long as... I'm because I'm out. What was that? Let you guys live your happy life. Your brother gives you a chance. He says, even though you slept with my wife, just give me a little bit of time. And I, I want to be brothers. Is that right? Yeah. And you say, no, just go on with your life and I'm going on with mine? You, you're going to walk away from your brother after he's willing to forgive you? He never said he was going to forgive me. He just did. He said, okay. give him some time. Oh. If you give me time, I will forgive you. Just like I will for her. And I accept that. You know what? You know what the problem is here. I, I, I've seen this happen before. I'm I've way met too a, soft. No, you know what? I've met a few guys like this in my life. The problem is, Michael's too decent of a human being. He's too nice of a guy, and you're a jerk. Get off my stage. <laughs> he didn't do more. It wasn't charm. It was more like slither into your pants. If I were you, if I were you, I'd appreciate, seriously, watch my show for a while. Watch it for a couple months. Oh, I watch it he every, does day. every day. Well, you watch it every day. I watch it every day. Well, then day. you should really appreciate what you have here. Oh, I do. Almost every woman that walks across this stage or sits here tells a story about a bad guy, a guy that's drunk or a drug user or a bad father or that beats her. So my advice to you is, I would do what you're doing, 
And what I'm offering to you is, I'm sure these results help you to some point. Yes, they do. But I seriously think because of what happened that you probably could use some marriage counseling and we'd like to offer that to the both of you. I have something that I can never get rid of. I have HIV. How do you wrap your hand around her throat and start choking her? No! No! The choking y'all did that out of anger. I'm eight months pregnant at this time, and I told him, you know, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. You sell drugs, you've been to prison, you could kill her and kill your own child. I don't wish this on nobody. You've seen the show before. I, I watch it every day. <laughs> I went to the strip club. A dancer asked me for a ride. Right. With the car. With the car. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Hey, you pissing me off. It's so funny. So I found condoms in his pocket, naked pictures in his phone. And I'm here to prove to you that I ain't cheating well, on you. I know you better pass this test. Simone's boyfriend, Lee, hits her, chokes her, and even abused her while she was eight months pregnant. You see, Simone thinks he's cheating, and when she confronts him, he gets abusive. Lee denies ever cheating and says all this abuse is her fault. Take a look. I had it with my girlfriend. We fight constantly in front of our two kids, arguing, fighting, choking each other out, police involved. One time when she was pregnant, I pushed on the bed and held her down, put my hand around her throat. She accused me of cheating because she found texts in my phone not for me. Since I got out of prison, I've been with her for two years now. She still says that I'm cheating on her constantly. I'm not at all. If she finds out that I'm not cheating, I hope it die down. No harassment, no in my face nagging constantly. And we can move on with our lives and leave this part of our lives alone. There will be no, no other reason for me to abuse her at all. My girlfriend has HIV. When I found out, I was torn up. I didn't believe it for myself until she told me herself. I never tested positive for HIV, and I still haven't yet. We don't use protection because I'm not into condoms. That's kind of bad for me, but at the same time, that's how I express my affection towards her. I worry about HIV sometimes, but at the same token, I don't think about it. That's somebody I want to spend the rest of my life with, so I'm really willing to help with my relationship with my girlfriend. I love her too much to let it just go down the drain. Simone, it sounds like you're dating a guy that's not very smart. No, it's not. Um, kind of a dope, right? Yep. He, he hits you, and he has unprotected sex with you. Yes. You're sitting here right now, and you're crying. What is exactly making you cry? Knowing that I have HIV. <laughs> and <laughs> I know that there's people out there that's willing to accept me, but I feel like what's the point of trying when I already got somebody? <laughs> yeah, but somebody that's not very good to you. Pretty much. Um. First of all, how long have you known that you've had HIV? Since I was 16 years old. Since you were 16. So you contracted HIV while you were with Lee? He was in prison. And I said to myself, why wait until he comes out? Tell him now. Right. So he called me one day from prison, and I told him, I have to tell you something. And when I told him what it was, he just basically said, it's OK. I still love you. And then I'm, <laughs> and that I'm still going to be with you. So when he told me that, I felt like, <laughs> like it's, it's amazing that somebody wants to be with me and I have something that I can never get rid of. 
Um, before he went to prison, did he abuse you? No. No. But he left me for somebody else. But then he wrote me a letter telling me that he was sorry and he didn't really mean what he did to me. So he gets out of prison. When did the abuse start? When I cheated on him. When you say he abuses you, what exactly did he do to you? Well, there was this one time when I was eight months pregnant with my second child. And these are children by him? Mm-hmm. Um, we were outside at a party, like a gathering, and I saw him looking at another girl, and I told him about it. I told him I saw you looking at her, and so I, I, I left, me and my son. And when we left, he followed me down the street. And everybody's just watching while he's yelling at me, pushing me, grabbing me, calling me names, and like just degrading me. And I told him, just stop, everybody's looking at me. And he didn't care, because he was drunk. It just started getting physical. So as he kept yelling at me in my face, I pushed him away from me and tell him to let me leave. He wouldn't let me leave at all. Every time I tried to leave, he would, I'm eight months pregnant at this time, he would push me, throw me on the floor, grab me by my neck, and start choking me. And I told him, you know, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. How do you wrap your hand around her throat and start choking her? The choking I did that out of anger. I don't wish this on nobody. You sell drugs, you've been to prison, you could kill her and kill your own child. <laughs> How do you wrap your hand around her throat and start choking her? The choking I did that out of anger. I don't wish this on nobody. Here is a guy who's the father of children, and you have HIV. And that's that's gotta be a hard thing to live with. It's gotta be a tough thing knowing that you had that. <laughs> but why is he being so selfish to his children, to you? to expose himself to real strong possibility of getting HIV himself by not protecting himself. Um, and I, and I, gotta, I gotta ask you this question, and believe me, I'm very sympathetic to your situation, but why wouldn't you demand, if you're gonna have sex with me, you need to be protected for our children's sake? I do. You, you say you do. I tell him a lot that I want you to go to the health department or go somewhere and get a test because I don't want you to wake up one day, you know, he's so young. He's only, he'll be 24 in about two weeks. I don't want you to wake up one day and you, you can't move. You know, I don't want you to wake up one day and be so sick. I don't wish this on nobody because it's not easy, you know? It's not. And... Uh, me being only 20 and 16 when I found out, I was really on the verge of suicide because I didn't know what else to do. But I just tell him, you know, thank God my kids don't have it. And you have something to live for. And I guess I'm just scared of being alone. I don't want to be alone. To me, it would seem like you'd be much better off alone. He's, he's, not, he's not helping. He doesn't work. He doesn't provide. Uh, he, according to you, he drinks, he gets high, and uh, he likes having un unprotected sex. About two weeks ago, he supposedly saved up some money for Christmas. And um, come to find out, he spent my kids' Christmas money Aww. on drugs. Aww. And he told me that the money was for him to go get more drugs to make more money. And I told him, no matter what, I don't, I don't care if you only had $20 saved up. That was for my kids. <laughs> and I just... I'm glad you're on my show. Thank you, I'm and, honored. And the very minimum of this, what's going to come of this, the very minimum, 
is that your kids will have a Christmas because we'll make sure of that. But the sad thing is, is I'm not Santa Claus, and I can't give you what you probably really want, and that's a changed man. I can speak to people and try to get them to see, like, oh, my God, I'm screwing up. And that part I'm, I'm good at if somebody has something in them that wants to change. But if somebody's just going through life and just being selfish and just constantly thinking about themselves, then you know what, sometimes you're going to have to affect change. All right? All right, let's bring out Lee. You're lying. Every time we come out, every time we go together, we anywhere, anywhere it is, we argue about what? You act like you don't care about me. You I act like you don't care about our kids. About no, you don't. I, I care a lot about no, you. No, you don't. And you know you don't. Because if you did, you would be here more with us. How you going to be somewhere with no job? How you going to be somewhere with no job? You want me to sit up under you constantly 24-7, you want me to sit up under your ass, I'm not. I have no job. By any means necessary, I'm going to go do what I have to do to take care of my kids. But you say You that. say I push you down, you say all this, this is just me. It's not just me. If I'm arguing with you and I tell you I'm going to leave, why would you chase me out the door? Why? To get away from you, this is what I'm trying to do to keep that going down. You say I always leave, but you still get help. Who else you getting help from? Well, you don't get... It doesn't matter. They're not mom or dad. You are. I'm not... They're not mom and dad, but at the same token, I have no job. It doesn't matter. You know matter. I don't have a job. You tell me you don't have a job, but if you're outside doing what you're Christmas supposed to be drugs. doing, if you're outside selling drugs, where the hell is the money at? Where's the money? Where's the money? How do you wrap your hand around her throat and start choking her. The choking I did that out of anger. I'm sure you've seen a lot of violence in your own life and, and you're committing it on the person that's standing by you, that loves you, that gives you children? How do you wrap your hand around her throat and start choking her? Do you feel sorry that you abused her? So I'm asking you, is any of what she said untrue? The choking I did that out of anger. Okay. Out of anger. She, I, was, I wanted to leave, honestly. I wanted to leave. Okay. She would not let me leave. I, she blocked listen, the door. I understand everything. men get mad and they want to leave. That happens all the time. But how do you, and she said she's eight months pregnant at the time, how do you wrap your hand around her throat and start choking her? <laughs> How do you do that? I mean, it, it, it has to be you're using some of the drugs you're selling. No. I only smoke weed. That's all I do. Well, I smoke weed. smoking weed, the, it puts you under the influence, right? No. It I does, just can't, it... I can't imagine somebody doing that to somebody they love. You could kill her and kill your own child. Yeah. And, 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 you know, let's, let's face it. You're not some babe in the woods. You're a guy that's been around the block. You sell drugs. You've been to prison. I'm sure you've seen a lot of violence in your own life. And, and you're committing it on the person that's standing by you, that loves you, that gives you children? I don't get it. <laughs> but let's, let's, let's move past that now. Do you feel sorry that you abused her? Yes, I apologize every time it go down, but I, don't, I never wanted Would to Would you ever put hard. your hands on her again? I haven't. You haven't. It's been a while. I haven't. It's been okay. a minute. I, well, I, I hope, for your sake, for your children's sake, because the worst thing a, a, a child could see is dad putting his hands on mom, right? Okay. What about you having sex with her unprotected? I know that's stupid, but at the same time... If you know it's I stupid... It. I love her. I love, oh, her. Of course. I love her that much. And you, you can know? express love by protecting yourself, can't you? I do. I have. I have protected myself a couple times. It's... It's both parts, you know. If, if she say, oh, I don't want this, I, that's my... No, but you, you know what? You, you don't get to say, if she said, no, I don't want that. You say, no, because I have two children and I need to be around as long as I can for them. We're only going to do it one way. And if you say no, then it's not going to be no way. When I mention something about a condom with her, I'm cheating. 
Why you want to use a condom now? Are you serious? You know, Honestly, in this story, why you, wanna, uh, you know what? Why you want to use a condom now? She's concerned about the cheating in this story, okay? But to me, when you have physical abuse, when you're dealing with a dangerous disease like HIV, when you have a man selling drugs, turn down his own community, cheating's really low on the list here. Yeah. Not for her, but for everybody else. Can you imagine if, you know, if you lived in my neighborhood, in anybody's neighborhood, who wants a drug dealer in their neighborhood? I mean, you're not only causing harm in your own house, you're causing harm through your whole neighborhood. You'll do whatever it takes to take care of your kids. And, and that includes selling drugs. And yeah. so you'll destroy other people's lives for, for, to take care of your two kids. I'm not kids. selling anything harmful. Marijuana is not harmful. Really? So most parents would be okay if you were selling their kids marijuana. I don't sell kids marijuana. You don't sell. Because you ID everybody that comes to you, right? You're the one drug dealer that has requirements. Oh, you need to be 21, sir. <laughs> I mean, nobody believes that. And I don't see any, like, yeah, I want to change for you, honey. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm on national TV looking like an <laughs> I'm going to change for you. I tell her that. I told her this before that. I've been telling her that for the longest. You know? It's, it's hard when you you not cooperating with me. Are you cheating on? Are you pages. cheating on her? No, not okay. at all. Let's find out. Since you got back together with Simone in 2009, have you had sexual intercourse with any other female? You answer no. In the last month, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Simone? You answer no. In the last month, have you had sexual intercourse with more than two other women besides Simone? You answer no. And the results for your lie detector test on every question came back the same. And we gave you the test twice. And the results are. I found condoms in his pocket, naked pictures in his phone. I'm here to prove to you that I ain't cheating well, on you. I know you better pass this test. Have you had sexual intercourse with any other female? You answer no. In the last month, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Simone? You answer no. In the last month, have you had sexual intercourse with more than two other women besides Simone? You answer no. And the results for your lie detector test on every question came back the same. And we gave you the test twice. And the results are. You did not tell the truth. Oh, my God. I never thought he was cheating on me. I just always thought he was being sneaky behind my back. But you know what? I told him yesterday. I told him the day before yesterday. I told him when I called your show. Them lie detector tests don't lie. You can't control your brain. You can't control what you think. You can't control what goes on in your brain. And I told him, if it for some reason, even though you say you, you're not cheating on me, if it for some reason just says that you cheated on me, are you going to make an excuse? He said no. 
I said, so if, if it comes back, you're lying. You lied, right? I don't know how I lied, but yeah, I guess I lied. You're a liar. Well, you're a liar. I think, um... And I don't need that. I don't need that. Can you tell me what they said one more time, please? Excuse me? Can you tell me those results again? Whether he had sexual intercourse since what, he's... What did, 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 is Dan here? Let's bring Dan up. Hey, Dan. Hey, Steve. How are you? Um, Thank you. Kind of a, a sad show all along, hearing a story, but kind of uplifting at the end now that we have a woman that's so strong and making good decisions and saying, I've had enough. Amen. There you Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Um, she's a, an avid fan of the show, and she, she certainly knows you and what you do. Thank you. She asked for you, and, and I'm giving it to her, so. Thank you. Can you elaborate, please, on those? Um, the polygraph exam was conducted to the same standard that the FBI, the Secret Service, or the police would conduct the polygraph exam. Just that the issues here are relationship and sexual physical contact versus murder or bank robbery. Um, in testing him multiple times, which we do with every examinee, mm -hmm. his reactions were consistent. Extremely deceptive. And he was very deceptive. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you very much. Lots of good luck and be strong. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what we also want to do for you, we're going to give you uh, money so you can provide uh, Christmas for your kids. Um, and 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 help you in a situation so you can get away from Lee. Uh, we're going to help with, with an apartment and pay security oh deposits. Uh, <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Um, Thank and, you so much. And we're, we're going to provide first and last month's rent also. Thank so, you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And, and a lot of times I'm always worried. I'm always worried when we do the show. You don't have to tell me to pick a door. If he walked out oh, that way, I'll walk out this way. Right. Right. Yeah. after the show was greatly appreciated. And I want to thank you for being the awesome person you are. Thank you for helping me get my own apartment. Thank you for letting me see what's really been going on in my relationship with Lee. And thank you for everything. As for everything with me and me, we're trying to work something out. But as the show was real tough, I believe in giving people second chances. I also told him there's no third chance. So if he screws up, it's on him. See you, thanks for everything. I went to the strip club, a dancer asked me for a ride. With the car. With the car, yeah, exactly. You pissing me off, it's so funny. I found condoms in his pocket, naked pictures in his phone. I'm here to prove to you that I ain't cheating well, on you. I know you better pass this. I went to the strip club, a dancer asked me for a ride. With the car. With the car, yeah, exactly. You pissing me off, it's so funny. Tamisha knows that her husband, Jacques, has been unfaithful. Jacques admits to cheating only one time just three weeks ago. But Tamisha believes there's more to the story. Mm. Uh, Jacques, why are you here? I'm here, I'm here to save my marriage, Steve. I messed up. I, uh, I cheated on my wife. and. She thinks it's a lot more, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to prove to her it's not. Is I it, love my wife to death, and... Is it, is it more than once? No, it's not more than once. Just one time? Yes, sir. How long have you been married? I've been married for... since November. So oh, going so on three months. You just been married? Yeah, we married. just newly, newly wedged. The accusations started coming, like, two months before we got married. Like, she, um, I went to the strip club. I, I was on my way out. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was on my way out of the club and um because nothing ever bad happens there. No, nah, I mean it, it was um uh, I went to the strip club and when I was leaving, a dancer asked me for a ride. She asked where I was going. I wasn't going in her direction, so I gave her a ride to the train station. That was it. Because you're just being a nice guy. Yeah, I was being a nice guy. She gave me her number <laughs> to make sure she got home safely, but my wife found the number and And what happened? I told her the truth. I told her I gave, gave her, and so what did she say? She, I mean, instantly, like, no, nah, nobody gives a stripper a ride home. You had to do something with her. She had to do something to get the ride or whatever. But I was trying to tell her, and I mean, honestly. And you just gave her a ride? I just gave her a ride. With the car? With the car, okay. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so she didn't believe you, and then what happened? Um, after we got married, Accusations started coming more, and um, we started getting into a lot of fights. Sometimes they turned physical just because she... You didn't hit her, though. No, I never hit her. Okay. I've defended myself, but I've never hit her. All right. <laughs> but, you, you know, you shouldn't even escalate to that point, right? Yeah, exactly. I try to, I try to walk away from her. She's the type that will follow you and keep it going <laughs> until she gets what she That's wants. That's a great way to start a marriage, man. Man, eh, I know. <laughs> Okay, so she's accusing you, and because she's accusing you, you're going to have to cheat at some point. Not necessarily, but it, it but did, did happen. It did happen. And um, why did you cheat on her? We got, into, we got into an argument. She was drunk, and, well, she told me after the fact she was drunk, but... She told she, you after the fact she, she was drunk. She told, me, she told me to leave. She told me she wanted a divorce, said she could do better by herself, and... She says to you, I want a divorce. What did you she, say? I, I left. I mean, she told me, the last thing she told me was in our marriage, and she That's went brutal. and she went and laid down, and, and so I, you I left. I started packing up my stuff, and I was calling around for a ride. The only person that came to get me was the was, stripper. No, it was it was a <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was a girl I used to I used to talk to. We had we had a thing going back in back a while. in the day. Yeah, back in the day, and she came and picked me up. You don't have any like male friends. I do, but none were available at three o'clock in the morning. I mean, I, ca I called was. around. She she came she came and picked me up, and in the midst of talking to her and you know like my marriage is over and everything, she and you really you thought what like it's really over? I really thought it was over. It's just been coming and coming, and more and more she's been like she can do better by herself. So you ended up sleeping with this friend that picked you up. I didn't sleep with her. I got oral sex from her, but... Okay. She, got, she gave you oral sex? Yeah. We, that night? Yeah, that night. And So um, you weren't going to give the marriage a second chance? It, it wasn't that. I, I was confused. I made a mistake. I felt real bad about it. And um, When? I, when you were done? No, I mean, <laughs> while it was happening. I mean, while I, it was happening? Yeah, I felt bad. You felt really bad. I did. I so felt bad, bad you stopped her? No, I didn't stop her. Yeah. <laughs> I, like I said, I was... I was confused and... So why are you here today? I'm here to prove to my wife that I, I love her. I, I, I want to oh, be yeah, with her. Oh, yeah, that story's going to really help. Um, I, like I said, I Besides made a Besides that, though. I, I made a And mistake. you only did it because she said marriage is over. Yeah. And in your mind, legally, it was over. Not legally. <laughs> it wasn't legal. It wasn't legal. Okay. And but you still love your wife? Yes, I love my and wife. And you want to be with her? Yes. And you took a lie detector test, I'm assuming? Yes, I did. That that was the only time? Yes. And you're hoping that that'll show her, yes. she'll take you back, yes. and you can move forward. Yes. Do you think that she's cheated? I, I mean, I don't know. I think these accusations are coming from somewhere. And, I mean, I haven't... She, she does stuff that's kind of sneaky. And Like what? I mean, it's just like, you always catch her whispering. Or, like, anytime she sees me, she's like, you know... She on wife, Facebook? She, yeah, she's on Facebook. Guilty. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's bring out your wife, Tamisha. All right. And why is it that you always accusing me of cheating on you? No, why is you out here laughing like this? Like, this I mean, is a this joke. Ain't, this ain't no game. I'm just trying to tell I'm you, I'm really man. thinking you having fun out here. How you, really? I mean, I came well, all the way out here. that's probably part of my I fault. Can't, you know. I came it all the way out here. It don't matter. You out here like you at Chuck E. Cheese some damn way. I came it? all the way... <laughs> For real, nah, I mean, like, I'm I came laughing. all the way out here to, to prove to you. Why is you, you having so much fun, though? I mean, wait. I mean, he made a couple of jokes, I laughed, so wait. Damn, you ain't laughing. You getting weak.
I found condoms in his pocket, naked pictures in his phone. I know you better pass this text. Did you have any sexual physical contact with the woman that you gave a ride home from the strip club? The answer, no. I found condoms in his pocket, naked pictures in his phone. I know you better pass this text. I'm here to prove to you that I ain't cheating well, on you. you we gonna was... see the pictures, the condoms, you being gone. I mean, you... Yeah, uh, you did disappear for three days at one time. Exactly. Right? While she, I was to sleep. she told me to leave. You said you could at least wa wait until I uh, woke why do, up and why do you, you think he's said cheating? Leave. Because I found condoms in his pocket, uh, naked pictures in his phone, and then plus him being gone just for several um, days. Why it's do ridiculous. you have condoms in your pocket? I have one condom. That it was his friends. He that, said he was babysitting. I, I, I have. <laughs> I have one. Happy I had, uh, and my just best, speak. my best friend left to go to Iran. When he left, he, he had he, he had oh. a three pack. He gave one to me. He kept one and gave one to another one of our partners because we went out that night. And I've had it ever since. Never used it, and I still have. So it. this is condoms from a long time ago. Yeah, it's like and it has sentimental value because yes. your buddy was going to Iran. That's that's it. That's you all it is. You full of it. And you out here laughing, you having fun. I mean, how are you, you, you gotta laugh at that one. Come on. I mean, if our marriage I was a so joke, I wouldn't be keep... here. But you're here, obviously, because you still love him, right? Yeah, I love him. I want, I want, you want your marriage, marriage to, work. to work. But if it, if it comes back but to more other than, than, what he said, other than that, that car ride that you know about with the girl, yeah. other than that, if he passes, you're gonna work on your marriage? Yeah. What if he fails? I'm leaving. You're leaving. Immediately. Fails, immediately. I know you better pass this test. And if I don't, that's what wait. you better do. If you don't, if I don't, wait. you gonna be by yourself, or you can call her to pick you up from her. <laughs> it's still funny. Because, it's, it's so funny. I don't understand for real. You pissing me off. It's so funny. Um, Tamisha, we gave you a lie detector test also. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. Who thinks that Tamisha has been cheating? Mm, mm, mm. No, I haven't. Mm, mm, mm. Say it without smiling. No, I yeah. haven't. <laughs> you talking about me laughing now. All right, Tamisha, you came here and we asked you a few questions. And we said, after the first four months of your relationship with Jock, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone else? She answered no. She told the truth. Since being married to Jock, have you had sexual, physical contact with anyone else since being married? She answered no. She told the truth. <laughs> um, we asked him a couple questions, too, for the lie detector test. Did you have any sexual, physical contact with the woman that you gave a ride home from the strip club? He answered no. He told the truth. Don't clap so soon. You've seen the show before. I, I watch it every day. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> while in a relationship with Tamisha, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else? You answer no. You did not tell the truth. I told the truth. He what? He did not tell the truth. About what? <laughs> Having sex? I told the Sexual truth. intercourse. Oh, boy. Did you have sexual intercourse with the woman you received oral sex from two weeks ago? You answer no. You didn't tell the truth. That's Yo, my man, man, I told the you truth, man. I told the truth, man. Okay, you a For real. You a For real, you don't believe? Yeah, that I lied. Man. I care about you. I care, care about, about you, man. I do. No, you don't. I am not with you. Tamisha. Tamisha. <laughs> Tamisha, come here. Come here, sweetie. Oh, these are oh, bro, Listen, listen. You know, it, it, you guys been together for a long time. Oh, okay. okay. If he done it once, he's gonna do it again. Hey, listen, whatever decision you make, obviously that's what you're gonna do. But all I would say is, you know, the marriage is three months old. Wouldn't you say, like, 
there's some things that are happening in the marriage that are causing problems that maybe if you remove those elements that maybe you could make this marriage work maybe he's you're not getting in fights maybe he's not leaving the house <sighs> listen you you said you have a child I'm sure I you, love him right right and that's my point do you really want to start I, all over? I don't care. I'm getting. I'm leaving your ass. It's don't come over here. Don't talk to me. I'm come leaving here. you. Don't come here. Get away from me. Talk I'm leaving you. you. Talk to me. No, I don't talk to you. You could have had me at home. No, I did. You gonna stick to that? Tamisha. You gonna get out from me? You gonna you. stick to that? We got a. We got a kid. I don't care. I mean, for real. You gonna leave me? I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm asking you, and what, what, whatever decision you make, obviously, you're a grown woman. You ain't gonna keep my own deep nine. He won't even be mad enough to First of all, say you know what? She's got a good point. Why don't you just She's say? got a good point. If you're gonna return, so you, you gotta admit. You gotta tell her the truth. I'm sorry. You Yes. I'm sorry. You a lousy bitch. Okay, okay. Okay. Don't okay, touch me. Hold on. Okay. I know it ain't okay. no stupid. I'm sorry, baby. I'm not stupid. I'm you should have just sat it at home. I'm got sorry. Baby. You can beat that damn thing. I don't hold think on. nothing. Hold on. You sure. stupid. You. And then you get me right now. I don't Everybody think watch that, Steve. I don't think Everybody. I'm sorry. Okay. Even I'm my sorry. grandmama. Um, listen, all I want to ask I'm you. Sorry. And you oh, I'm sorry. You I'm sorry. I love him too. I love him too. Murder. I love him too. Hey. Don't leave me. <laughs> Your ass left. Don't leave me. You I'm left. Sorry. It's over. Get out of my face. You have to make whatever decision you have to make. But all I'm asking, would you be opening to some kind of counseling? <laughs> oh, so, no, 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 no. Would you? Don't. Maybe you can make things right. But you know what, Tamisha? Only you know what you can live with and what you what you don't want to work on, or you say this is over. I'm just saying. When you leave and you go home and you change your mind, you call me back, okay? Well, I guess you ain't gonna be getting no call. Good luck, sir. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, wasn't the answers you were looking for. I think when you go home and, and you come down a little bit, maybe you can talk, but I, obviously right now I don't think that's gonna happen. Good luck to you, Tamisha. And I'm just going to give you one piece of advice, okay? A lot of marriages aren't easy all the time. Everybody goes through their ups and downs. You're, you know, happening very early in your marriage. But the truth of it is, even if your wife tells you to leave and go, especially if she's been drinking a little bit, don't go. Don't leave the house, because that only can lead to trouble. Nothing good could come from you leaving. So when you go home, like I said, and it offers to you too, if you can get her to go to counseling and we can help with that, maybe get you some... Uh, alcohol management classes because I think that's the big problem with this marriage is you're both probably drinking too much and that's not good for the kid either if you're both drinking a lot so all I'm saying is when you get home and you guys need some help or something you call me back good luck to you thank you The story doesn't end when our guests leave my stage. Stay tuned until the conclusion of the show. You'll never believe what's been going on since they left. You always gotta check your girl, cause women are slick. It's been like that from the beginning of time. He makes me take off my clothes and checks me daily to see if I've been sleeping with anybody else. I want to see what's going on. I want to sniff you. I want to smell you. What am I going to do? I got two kids. What the hell does that mean? When your daughter becomes older, would you want a man treating her like he treats you? Why does he think you're cheating? I had an incident about a month and a half ago. And what stopped you? He caught me. Did you cheat on her? Nope. Well, that was the worst nope of all time TV history. <laughs> nope? I don't know what these results are, but I don't want to chance it. You want this. I do. 
You even suspect he may have cheated with a man. He's too feminine for my taste. Girl, I ain't cheating on you, man. I've been calling this show for three months straight. You're not cheating at all? No, sir. So you're... Oh, see, you just smiled. That's, that's like almost a certain sign that somebody's lying. And I don't even need this. Tell them to! Stephanie denies cheating on her boyfriend, Ricky, but he doesn't believe her. So what does he do? He makes her strip down naked so he can check her. But today, Stephanie took a lie detector test to prove she's not cheating, and she wants Ricky to stop his controlling ways. Take a look. I'm here because my boyfriend accused me of cheating on him. He feel like I'm sleeping with the neighbor. He makes me take off my clothes and checks me daily to see if I've been sleeping with anybody else. He look at my body parts and look everywhere else to see if marks is being there or if I haven't been doing anything. But I haven't been doing anything, so I don't know why he would think that. Every time I come home after school, he takes my clothes off to check and see, and I have to show him my schedule to prove to him that I've been at school all that day. When he tell me to take off my clothes, I feel upset. It makes me very angry and sad. Sometimes I cry. I ask him why, but he just still say I show him signs, the way I look and the way I act. He says that I be looking funny, looking like I'm thinking about another man, but I'm really not thinking about another man. He just got a new job, and I literally sit in the car till he gets off work to show him I'm not sleeping with anybody else. I can't even go around my family because he puts me down in front of my family. I don't deserve this. I've been a good woman to him ever since the day we got together. I know he really loves me, and I know he cares about me, but these accusations have to stop. Ricky, you're here because you believe your girlfriend Stephanie is cheating on you, right? Correct. And why do you think that? Because three months into... How, how, how tall are you? Um, five, nine. Stand up, Mercy. All right, just stay standing now. Um, why do you think she's cheating on you? Because three months into our relationship, um, the neighbor was uh, talking to me one day, and my girl was coming downstairs. And when she was coming downstairs, he heard her coming down the stairs. So he talking to me, I guess, trying to feel me out. Because well, I, I live in the ghetto, so a person to try to figure you out. They feel like you soft, you a punk, you this. She was coming down the stairs. He came down the stairs. I mean, he was going up the stairs when he heard her, right? So when he went up the stairs, he bumped into her. But it wasn't like a bump into her where you just bump into somebody and, you know, ooh, excuse me. It was more of a bump and, you know, you know, kind of, you know what I'm saying? So being the kind of guy I am, you know, if it's like that, I let the person have them. You know, I ain't finna be sitting around sweating nobody, you know. So if it was like that, you'd say, hey, go be with him. Right. Then why are you here? I'm here because, one, she brought me here. You know, I, I wouldn't want to come on TV in front of everybody and get embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? It's how I've been doing But you said, I'm going to do it anyways. Right. Because, one, <laughs> check me out, check me out before you go to laughing. Check me out. Okay. <laughs> what happened was... This girl is a good girl at the end of the day, you know? She takes care of me, you know what I'm saying? She puts money in she's my pocket. She's a good girl. At the end of the day, she's a good girl. Right, because somebody can be good at the same time and, and possess be... bad qualities, too. She got good qualities kinda and like bad qualities. Some, like some men, right? Right, some men. But in this situation, I'm kind of like the woman, and she the man. You ever heard of Usher switching places, changing places? That's true. You can change now, you places. You were worried about living in the ghetto and how people are going to perceive you, and you just said, I'm the woman. No. <laughs> But they, they won't watch that. They won't watch it. Okay. I run the show. What's bad about it is she's sneaky. This is where you get the difference between a petty hole and a professional. Okay? You got, you got some women that are professionals that can go have sex and be a certain way, then you come back like everything normal. But see, a man... Are all women like that? Not all women ain't like that, but majority of them is. Because see, listen. Okay, wait. Who are, what women in my audience are that way? Who's, who's sneaking and creeping? <laughs> but we got two honest ones back there. <laughs> Let me make this long story short. This ain't no bad person. I don't want to. I don't want to think like that. But it just. So do you think that she's sneaking behind your back and having sex with other men? My, I'm see. I'm different from the average guy. My woman come in acting suspicious. I want to see what's going on. I want to sniff you. I want to smell you. I'm you know what I'm saying? 
Now, I know this is your show, and I ain't gonna do that to you on your show, but you don't know what your woman may be doing. A woman is like a cat. Uh, hey, check me out. A woman is like a cat. She's standing right over A man right is like there. a dog. <laughs> a man let his <laughs> everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows. How would you know? But you know what? It must suck to go through life not trusting anybody or anything. And, and life is like that. Well, but no, because then you would drive yourself crazy always wondering and worrying. Right. You always drive yourself crazy wondering uh, and I wondering. But I don't. I but... trust her. I, I love her. She loves me. We just live our lives. I don't worry about all that nonsense. Right. You always got to check your girl, because women are slick. It's been like that from the beginning of time. When your daughter becomes older, would you want a man treating her like he treats you? You always got to check your girl, because women are slick. It's been like that from the beginning of time. Do you have any real proof that she's cheated on you besides bumping into a guy in the hallway? Not just a, not just bumping into a guy in the hallway, but late night phone calls, shadiness. Let's uh, <laughs> let's bring out stuff from here. Why you keep accusing me of stuff right. I'm not doing? But okay, let's let's cut all the innocent stuff out. I mean, cause you know everybody come on stage. Oh, you know, oh, she did. <laughs> don't be like that because you don't know the situation. Do you, do you watch the show? Yeah, I watch the show. I watch the show. I look at your show. I check you out. But I be warning. I'm like, when I was coming over, I was thinking like, damn, I want to see gonna bash my head in. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Because you know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't want to look like I'm the bad guy here. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's, nobody thinks you're the bad guy. They might think you're the weird guy. But... Right. But, hey, hey, I may, she may be not doing this stuff. I don't want to accuse her. You know, she'll cry. But you are. I can't help it. If I got a gut feeling I'm laying down by you and I, I can't even feel comfortable, I mean, what I supposed to think? So um, I'm not, you're not doing let, that let, you know, I'm not doing that. So I, I be around you every day. Okay, so I be around you every day, too. So what I'm going to do? I got two kids. What the hell does that mean? Because you got two kids. Do you know how many girls around here going to sleep probably, with well, a but, million dudes? Okay, okay, okay but not don't a lot. Don't say the kids' okay, name, man. Okay, well, she's a mother of two kids. Probably very busy with them, right? Yes. Uh, and you got a third uh, that you took in. <laughs> um, I was told that you sit in your car at his work all day. Yeah, I sit in his car all day. And who choice is that? Why? To keep from arguing, going through these accusations okay, so, every so that's day. not so me doing that, right? If you don't okay. sit in the car, he thinks you're off doing something. Yeah. And so what, does he peek out the window and ch ch make sure you're still there? No. I mean, just to keep everything down, because I be tired well, of it. But I mean, as a young woman raising two kids, don't you have things better to do than... Yes. Yeah, something better. What, what do you have better to do? Go to school, study for my GED. But what, if I'm trying to leave about the door and go about my business, why do you stop me? I be trying to leave. Because I don't got time for that. You, you can go ooh and ah all you want to, but none of y'all live through what I live through. If you don't check your woman, then you'll bust. If you don't check your woman, you'll bust. Because you always got to check your girl. Because women are slick. It's been like that from the beginning of time. Been slick. And you're hoping that uh, you take this lie detector test and that this will make him normal? What? I hope it'll change him and keep him from accusing me all day. Stephanie, you came here and we asked you, are you currently cheating? She said no. Have you had sexual contact with your neighbor while in a relationship with Ricky? She said no. Have you had sexual intercourse with your neighbor while in a relationship with Ricky? She said no. Have you had sexual contact with another man while in a relationship with Ricky? She said no. Have you had sexual intercourse with another man while in a relationship with Ricky? She said no. And the results for every one of her answers is that she told the truth. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. Okay. When your daughter becomes older and she starts dating and, and with men, would you want a man treating her like he treats you? No. 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 Okay. We asked Ricky, besides one female in the beginning of your relationship, 
Have you had any other sexual contact with another woman while in the relationship with Stephanie? He said no. Did you cheat on her? Nope. Well, that was the worst nope of all time TV history. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We asked Ricky, besides one female in the beginning of your relationship, have you had any other sexual contact with another woman while in the relationship with Stephanie? He said no. You know, I was amused with you and I was having some laughs earlier, but I, I'm, I'm done being amused by you because I think of like what you put her through, what the kids must go through. Um, and, and that's not funny. Um, so I'm gonna kick you off the stage now. Goodbye. Um, and so, like, on some level, I can understand the attraction of being with a man that is different. Yeah, I'm certain on some level he's charismatic, uh, entertaining, but Overall, I gotta imagine it's a huge drain on you emotionally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're walking down the stairs, oh, you're cheating on me. You bumped into somebody. Now, uh, what if um, he's cheating on you? That'd be a reason why he accused me 24 7. Right. Um, and, I, and normally I always have the person out here, but he just, he's running over you, and I don't want that to happen. I, wa I want you to hear his. Uh, results and and then whatever the results are, I I'm curious is what you're gonna do moving forward. Okay. Um, we asked Ricky, are you currently cheating? He said no. He told the truth. Besides one female in the beginning of your relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman while in a relationship with Stephanie? He said no. He told the truth. Besides one female in the beginning of your relationship, have you had any other sexual contact with another woman? While in the relationship with Stephanie, he said no, and on that questionnaire, he did not tell the truth. So, he had sexual contact with another woman while in the relationship with you, other than the one female that he admitted to. Um, so, he's cheating on you. Do you want him out? He can come back out. He can come back out? All right, bring him back out. Say that one question again. What the hell do you mean? Do you want I, me to read it again? Can you read that again? Besides the one female that you admitted to in the beginning of your relationship, have you had any other sexual contact? You know what sexual contact is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> with another woman while in a relationship with Stephanie. You said no, and on that question, you did not tell the truth. Well, listen to the way that's said. Say that one more time. No, listen. Okay, before you go to all that ha oh, come on, man. Say that what you just said again, the way you answered that. I have had sex with one girl in the beginning. So you listen how and that sounds. Other, other than that one Say woman. Say that one more time. Hell no. Nah. I have not had sex or nothing with nobody. I don't cheat on you. We be together every day besides when I leave. That's it. When I leave and go somewhere. <laughs> I ain't got to prove myself to nobody, man. I know I, I, know I love this girl, okay. and this is the only person is, that built my is, mind. Is, so is that explanation said. enough for you? I have not done nothing. Okay, now you can go back off again. That's stupid, man. It's got to be tough to be in this, what you're in. Um, this is just wearing mentally, physically, just wears you out. I, I, I'm just curious, uh, what do you think you're going to do? Talk to him about it. So you you think you're gonna stay with them? Yeah, work things out. Work things out. Um, do you think that he could ever? He seems like a very paranoid guy. Do you think that he'll ever change and be secure with you? Yeah, probably. You think he can? Yeah. All right. Um, if there's anything in the future where, I mean, I would hope that you would never have to come back and prove yourself again, and I hope that him coming here and you proving to him. I hope it does uh, help or, or change him to a certain degree. I have a funny feeling that's not gonna happen, but for your sake, I hope it does.
Good luck to you. Thank you. Why does he think you're cheating? I had an incident about a month and a half ago. And what stopped you? He caught me. Did you cheat on her? Nope. Well, that was the worst nope of all time TV history. <laughs> nope. Why does he think you're cheating? I had an incident about a month and a half ago. And what stopped you? He caught me. Velma is afraid that her engagement with the Clifford cannot be saved until she proves that she's not cheating. She said put up with Clifford's accusations for five years, but now she has reason to believe that Clifford has been unfaithful. <laughs> Velma, why, uh, why are you here? Well, I'm here today to prove to my fiance Clifford that I have been faithful, that I've been um, very faithful to him for eight years, almost eight years. Eight years? Uh, you guys have been months, together a long time. Two months will make eight years, yeah. And, um, and I just want our relationship to be able to move to the next level. And Which is what, marriage? Marriage, yeah. I, I think I've earned. Yeah, after eight years. <laughs> after eight, after eight years so. and after everything we've been through, I think I deserve it, you know. And um, our children deserve it. You How know? many kids do you have? We have three children. Three children. Yeah. What? <laughs> What's he waiting for? I don't know. That's what I'm. That's what I want to know. Is what is he waiting for? I know he said, "Oh, I'd, I'd never get married," and and he could. He can't believe he's been in an eight-year relationship, because he's been unfaithful to his, all of his previous girlfriends. I think that's he's why he's been unfaithful to oh, all yeah. his previous yeah. girlfriends. Yeah. That's why I think he's so crazy right now, because he's never been in love like this, and now he's worried that the tables have been turned on him. And why? Why does he think you're cheating? I had an incident about a month and a half ago with. And it was almost considered, you know, to... What was the incident? Well, we just a lot of flirting, you know. Um, it made me feel alive again, you know, made me feel so like... So he was, he was kind of flirting with you? Yeah, kind of. You were flirting of, back a yeah, little bit? Yeah, And what stopped you? He caught me. Oh, he caught you. <laughs> he, he, caught, he, caught you, he caught you doing what? Well, um, a little birdie in the family kind of told him. That what was going on? Yeah, and then he showed up. And were you like in the middle of undressing or? No, and it never got as far as just flirting. I mean, right. I never actually physically touched him. You know, he but he, he touched you. Yeah, he. I'd be standing. You know, I worked at Waffle House. You know, and and him being behind I me. I love the Waffle House. Who doesn't? <laughs> you know, who doesn't? Right. Um, and he would he would, you know, touch me on the butt or or. He'd touch you, know. you on the butt. Yeah. Now your husband, he he, he calls you names. Yes. What, what kind of names is he? Uh, he calls me fat. He calls me ignorant. Um, tells me I half-ass everything I do. Um, so let me get this straight. He calls you all these names, and how turned on are you to jump in bed and have sex with him after all those name calls? Not at all. That's kind of sad. Because it yeah. was pretty good, right? It was, it was perfect. It was everything, yeah. you know. Um, have you ever cheated on him? No, I haven't. And obviously, now times are tough. You're not as intimate. Things aren't as good. Um, and when somebody's constantly accusing, what's usually the case? They've done it or doing it. Right. Yeah. Um, do you think he's cheating on you? Not, not at the moment. I don't. Not at well, not because he's not backstage. now. Well, no, not, <laughs> not, not not even in the past couple years. I don't think he's cheated on me. Um, but I have reason to believe that he did a few years ago. Why is that? Well, because when all of this came about. I sent my, my children to go stay with their grandmother so that we could try to save us, work on us, you know, because it's not worth throwing away. It's worth saving. Right. And he came clean about a lot of things. And he says, oh, it doesn't matter. It happened years ago. What, what did he come clean about? Well, he told me um, about this one girl in particular. He exposed himself to her at the local truck stop. That she that she has grabbed him, threw him against the refrigerator, kissed him. What do you mean, him. like he took his pants off? No, he walked out of the bathroom with his stuff hanging out. You know, he, she oh he wouldn't leave, she wouldn't leave me alone about it. She wanted to see it. I don't understand why all these women why they want to come on. But, that, well, but most when you women shake don't it at somebody or you show it at somebody, you know right. what do they think? They're so gonna get it. So he came out of the bathroom and he just was hanging out. Yeah. And then so what happened? She saw it and what? Uh, well, he says that they they came back to the 
apartments and uh, he went on with his friends. Nothing else happened that night, but that uh, she would come up behind him and kiss him on the neck. And that one incident, she had on some lingerie and threw him up against the refrigerator and put her hand down his pants, but he left and nothing happened. Oh, that didn't happen. I don't believe that. No, I, I, I mean. Did he ever admit to having sex? No, he, uh, he admitted to uh, two different girls when we first got together in Alabama. He mentioned those that uh, she came in and he woke up and she was him, but she got up, she made, he made her get up and leave. <laughs> I didn't believe that from day one. I didn't yeah. believe that from day one. And then another girl that she made him drive to the boss man's house to get some money or something and she gave him oral sex on the way. I and didn't couldn't stop that either. Soon as he got to that point, my face popped in his head and he didn't do it anymore. He stopped. <laughs> they came home. <laughs> I don't know what these results are, but I don't want to chance it. You want this. I do. You even suspect you may have cheated with a man. He's too feminine for my taste. Girl, I ain't cheating on you, man. I've been calling this show for three months straight. I don't know what these results are, but I don't want to chance it. You want this. I do. What if he did cheat on you? It would break my heart. Yeah. No, it would crush my soul, because he makes my soul happy. There's a difference. You know, anybody can be in love, lust, they get, you know, but when you make someone's soul happy, there's a difference. Okay. Let's meet your uh, fiance, right? Yeah. Clifford. This can stop, and this is serious. And I, it, it's taken this coming here in front of all these people to get the proof. And I hope this shows you that I didn't deserve all the things that I got. You're right. You're right. We will see. She's here because she says you constantly accuse her of cheating. And do you think your wife, our fiance, cheats on you? I don't know if she does or not. We'll but in out. your feeling, what is it got? Yeah. And why do you say that? Why do you feel that she cheats on you? Maybe I mean, that's how this, I treat her. This, this, right, maybe that's why. But, do you cheat on her? Nope. Well, <laughs> that was, that was the worst nope of all time TV history. <laughs> He's like this, nope. <laughs> He started saying, he grabbed his own head to make it go like this. Okay, I'll ask it to you again. Do you cheat on your wife? No. Nope. Come on now. It's been three years. Three years since you cheated on her. Yeah. So your uh, fiance is here. To, well, let's call your wife. You've been together eight years, three kids. Since you've been in a relationship with Clifford, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men besides him? That's a long time, right? It is. She said no. Since you've been in a relationship with Clifford, have you had any sexual intercourse with any co-workers? She said no. Have you had sexual intercourse with any men besides Clifford for the last year? She said no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Velma told the truth. <laughs> That's good news, huh? Yes. I mean, eight years, she's never been with anybody else. No sex, no contact, nothing, man. It's, it's all Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> if we end the show right now, we have a very nice, happy ending. I don't want anything, I don't know what these results are, but I don't want to chance it. Well, the, the fact is, it, whatever those results are, he's already told me so much. He's already told me and admitted to what he's done. So why do? You want this? I do. I
I tried for you. <laughs> Since you've been in a relationship with Velma, have you had any sexual intercourse with any women besides Velma? And he said, yes. He confessed to having sexual intercourse with four other women. We asked him, have you had sexual intercourse with any women besides Velma in the past year? He said no, and he did not tell the truth. Two. Two girls. In Alabama. In Alabama. Yeah. So uh, where's the other two? The other, the other one. In Who did you have sexual intercourse with? Who did you? Come over here for a second, okay? It doesn't seem like you've ever laid consequences down for him. And you've always taken it back. You've always believed his stories. And if you just keep saying, you know, yeah, you get mad, but you take it back, and he's, and he's this great love of your life, which I truly believe is the case. But unless there's, you know, lines in the sand, and you say, you cross over that land, line, there's no more of me. I believe that he knows that he can do whatever he wants, and you're always going to be there for him. Yeah, isn't that exactly what I said? Because I love you, I'm always going to be there. He doesn't seem like he cares. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. I mean, that's not the look of a re remorseful man. For now, and, you know, have a nice life. Get off my stage. So here's the choices of the show. We haven't done this in a while. Uh, pick a door. We're going to play pick a door. And out the door is Clifford, the big red dog. <laughs> and it's true, he's a dog. And then out this door is a door of opportunity, a door of somebody out there who will appreciate what you have to offer, which is a lot. I don't know. Oh. This is your life. You have yeah, to. Yeah, I do know when these lights go out. I'm still. This is still my life. That's right. I just feel like it's just too much between us. Just throw it away. I mean. Then do what you got to do. You're not cheating at all? No, sir. So you're, oh, so you just smiled. That's, that's like almost a certain sign that somebody's lying. And I don't even need this. Tell the truth. Tell the you're not cheating at all? No, sir. So you're, oh, so you just smiled. That's, that's like almost a certain sign that somebody's lying. Maurice wants to prove to his girlfriend, Brittany, that he's not cheating. In fact, he denies ever cheating on her and believes she's the cheater because she's the accuser. But they both took a lie detector test and we'll find out the truth. <laughs> so Brittany, why are you here? Um, basically, Steve, I'm here um, because my boyfriend has been calling, calling, calling the show. Um, we're having basically some trust issues. What's the reasons why you think he's cheating on you? Well, first off, I had a friend come and visit me. And um, just to include him, we all went out together. Um, we went out, had a nice time, and we, we were going to go into this one bar. But um, she, my friend wanted to go in and check it out first. So she went in. And she was taking too long, and I didn't want to split up. So I said, you know what, let me go look for her. Um, basically, I called her. She wasn't answering. I said, you know what, when she finally answered, I said, you know what, let's go to the next one, whatever. So um, when I got off the phone with her, she's where my boyfriend was. And I'm thinking she's coming out the bar. Oh. Yeah, and she's with him. So then when I called her phone, he, he answers. He's like, yeah, we're at the same place and everything. Just come here where you, where you left us at. And I'm like, OK. So when I got there, when I met up with them, they're, they're laughing and giggling, and I'm like, what's funny? I want to know what's funny. Y'all what got something in common? What's funny? The next reason um, I suspect him of cheating is we were at our house, and um, he got a text message. And I basically asked him, I said, let me see who's texting you. 
Um, he said it was a family member, but I didn't believe him, so I said, show me. It, it wasn't. It was an ex-girlfriend. So I said, okay, ex-girlfriend, all right, so what's going on with that? And he's like, oh, um, I didn't know that she was going to text me. She texts me out the blue, blah, blah, blah. So I said, well, when I asked to see it, it said, you can come and pick up your clothes now from my house. I see you moved on. You can come pick up your clothes. So I said, well, call her. Why is she sending you a text? But call her. He called her. She didn't know I was in the background. When he called her, she's like, um, hey, what's going on? Uh, you can come pick up your clothes. And so I'm like, I'm in the background now. Like, what? I thought, when's the last time that y'all saw each other? When she heard me in the background, she was like, oh, I know you don't have another girl in the background. So then she's like, you know what? Girl, I'm going to forward you a message that he sent me on my phone. And basically, she said that he, the text message that um, he sent her phone said, I'm in love with two women, and I basically know that you wouldn't stand for that. And so were he, you one of the two women? I believe so, me and her. So, uh, and so how did he explain that message? He, he said that that message was from two years ago. I don't know no woman in their right mind that would keep a message in their phone from, from two years ago. If y'all not messing around with each other, why do you have a text message from two years ago? Now, I'm told that you even suspect he may have cheated with a man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, basically, let me tell you how that came up. <laughs> he, he has a male friend. He's got a male friend. He has a male friend, and he's... He has a lot of male friends, but this one friend in particular is too feminine for my taste. Let me just say that. He's like, he's, <laughs> no, really, he's like real feminine. Not to say that there's, I know there's some guys out there that are feminine, but they're not gay. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's feminine guys, you know. Is there anything that would, you would think that there was a sexual relationship? I just, I, don't, I just, you just a got feeling. a gut feeling. Yeah, gut feeling. I just, I don't know. Now, are you cheating? No, I'm not. No, I'm well, not. Well, see, I, you didn't say that very convincing. Just try it again. No, I'm not. I'm oh, not. God, no, okay. was, no, I'm not. It was a little better. <laughs> not cheating with at my, all. My test results will prove that. Yeah. Yeah. You hope so, right? No, I know. Okay. 150%. Um. <laughs> 150, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's uh, bring out Maurice. Girl, I ain't cheating on you, man. I've been calling this show for three months straight, man. You're not cheating at all? No, sir. So you're... Oh, see, so you just smiled. <laughs> you just did, nah, man. Steve, come, Steve, on. come on. Well, a lot of tech tests are going to prove it. Just put it like that. Prove what? That prove you're cheating? that I'm not cheating on okay. her at all. Um, but see, what I don't understand is if you're not cheating and you're not cheating, what's the problem in your relationship? We got trust issues. Well, yeah. I know that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the whole thing about it is that she thinks that I'm cheating with her friend, and she know I'm not cheating with her friend. Not only that, anything. like I said, it was a text she, message. She, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What about, yeah, what about the girl that you said, I'm in love with two women, I know you won't go for that? That, that was two an old years girlfriend. Ago? That was an old girlfriend. Two she just called me ago? out of the blue. She Who? called me out of the blue. She kept the message for a long time? Yeah, it wasn't with two years. It's been like a year, year and a half. Oh, now it's been a year. It's been like a year. It's been okay. like a year. That's the only thing it is. Let's find out who's cheating here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's find out. <laughs> Uh, we asked Brittany, are you currently cheating? She said, no. Have you had sexual contact with another man while in a relationship with Maurice? She said, no. I've had sex. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with another man while in a relationship with Maurice? She answered, no. All the results came back the same, and it came back that Brittany told the truth. And I think to myself, man, if you're not cheating, there's not much of a story here. <laughs> well, it won't be a story then, because I'm not cheating. Maurice, have you ever had any type of sexual contact with a male? He said no. He told the truth. I don't like no guy like that, man. Come on, man. Have you ever had sexual contact with Britney's friend? He said no. 
you do not tell the truth. You should listen to all of them. You should listen to all of them. Are you serious? No. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with Britney's friend? You said no, and we got an inconclusive result. Since July, have you ever had sexual contact with another woman other than Britney? He responded no. He did not tell the truth. Since July, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman other than Britney? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. Wow. Okay. okay. You serious? Stop on, right there. Come, Come on. on man. Stop. Can Come I just on, say man. something, Steve? Yes, of course. You know, do you know how much this man called the show? He, you was calling the show for like, how, how many times you called the I show? Called the Baby, like I want to prove 20. myself. Baby, what? I didn't do nothing. I, Are you serious? I did, I did, not, I did not have Stop. sex with her friend. Stop. I did not have sex with her friend. Stop. Stop. Are you serious? All right. Come on now. Wow. Man. Come on now. Wow. Nah, come on, Steve. I didn't you know do anything wrong. Like, I did oh not have sex okay. with her friend you know or have sex with another female. Your gut, right? You said your gut was I speaking to you. I knew it. Right. I knew it. A lot of times when your gut is telling you something is true. Now, you could do me a favor, okay? You're a big fan of the show? You like the show, right? Yes. Okay. So why don't you do me a favor? Because you know that these are right. Wow. And you could be like one. We had one other guy admit on stage and say, you know what, Steve? It is right. You could be the second guy and say, yes, I, I lied. I, I didn't want to hurt wow. her feelings because she's yeah, yeah, beautiful no, wow. and I don't want to lose her. I, I know I did not do that. Wow. I know I did not do that. I know I did wow. not do that, Steve. I know I did but not see, do that. But see, remember I told you, nah, you smile, you had a little facial tick when I said that? Because I, that's, that's like almost a certain sign that somebody's lying. And I don't even need this. Come on, it's, give it to nah, me. Nah. Give it up to her. Tell the truth. So, I am the telling the truth. The lie detector, no, 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 the lie no, listen, detector listen, listen, doesn't listen, lie. Listen, listen, That's why it's called listen, a listen, lie listen, detector listen. test. I swear, I it swear does I not lie. Do the lie detector test does not do that, lie. Man. Are you serious? Come on, I'm, I'm being honest. I did not have sex with her friend. I had sex with another truth. I'm telling the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. I did not have sex with another Tell the truth. I know you might care for Maurice, uh, but if you have all these feelings of not trusting him, I mean, I can't imagine you're going to be too heartbroken over this because I got to imagine there's a lot of guys that would love to date you. I am curious though, do you think that you are going to give Maurice another chance? I'm gone. You're gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Thanks for coming on the show. Diane and John have a long history together, but John also has a long history with Nicole. Now the years of back and forth have led to some bitter accusations and some shocking behavior. All this and more on today's Steve Wilco Show. Nicole brainwashed him into thinking my kids is not his. While him and Nicole was together, me and him was still having sex. It was crazy as hell. Right now, I just want to choke him right now. He kicked me. He even hit me with a stick when I was seven months pregnant. It's not wrong. Yes, I did abuse her. Well, then you got to stand up. You never denied my kids before. Well, one night stand, oh, jump off. Your kid tried to get me pregnant three weeks ago. What? You ain't wearing a condom, remember? Now you have a child with Nicole. Yes. She harasses Nicole every day. Tell me she hope the kid die. I wish death on you and your daughter. Did the little bitch die yet? You are on a voicemail hoping a child dies. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you yeah. up your life. You my mom, your ass I raised you like this. She crazy. She certainly didn't know that they brought this voicemail to be played. Please don't let him be the father. Green here, oh not the father. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Please don't let him be the father. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Diane, you say your ex-boyfriend is denying your children. Yes. Why? Why would he be doing that? Because me and him broke up three weeks ago, and now he's listening to everybody on the streets, and Nicole brainwashed him into thinking my kids is not his. You broke up three weeks ago? Yes. And now he's with another woman? Yes. 
how many children do you have with him? Two. Two? Mm -hmm. Now, you're just 19 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, any reservations about being such a young mother, getting in a relationship where you had children? I mean, it's hard, but I can do it. I'm doing it by myself. No, I understand that part. What I'm saying is you were with this guy, you're both very young. Is it surprising that he's kind of like running around? Well, let me tell you my story, the story. Me and, me and John met in 2008 at a party. It was only supposed to be a one-time thing, but, we end, but I ended up getting pregnant with my son. A one-time? A one-time thing, but I ended up getting pregnant. But I'm saying, you got pregnant with just doing it yes. one time. He got back with Nicole, and she got pregnant with her daughter. While him and Nicole was together, me and him were still having sex, and I... Okay, spec that up a little bit. You had, like, you were supposed to be with him one night, you had sex, you got pregnant. Mm-hmm. And then he started seeing this Nicole. He was, al he was already he seeing was, her. He so was you already were the other woman yes. right off the get-go. Yes, but I didn't know about her. Okay, so he then got her impregnated. Uh-huh, she got pregnant with her daughter while they was together. And uh, did you find that out after you had your first child? Yes. How did you get pregnant by him again? Because I was still sleeping with him. And got... well, I know that part, but I'm saying, <laughs> why did you let yourself become pregnant again? I mean, I was in love with him. We were still having Even though he was with another woman? Yes. You were okay with that? Yes. Wow. And I ended up getting pregnant with my daughter when I was four and a half months pregnant. He moved in with me. Oh, he then moved in with you? Uh-huh. At this point, is he still with her then? No, he was with me. Okay. And the whole time, the whole time we was together, all he was doing was lying, cheating, abusing me. He kicked me. He punched me. When I found out him cheat, and I could find him. Who was he cheating? Was he cheating on you? With Nicole and other females. And other girls, too. Uh -huh. And when you brought up the he get mad. He get mad about it. And, and he became to, physical with uh -huh, you. Uh-huh. And get physical. He even hit me with a stick when I was seven months pregnant. So I got fed, I got fed up with and I told him to come and get his stuff. When he came and got his stuff, he brought Nicole with him. And I went to the car and I beat her ass because I feared that they both, I feared that they both disrespected me. And if he brought her to my house, to, if he brought her you, to... You went out to the car yes, and beat her Yes, I went ass. out to the car and I beat her ass to let her know I'm not the one to be played with. I'm not the one. But isn't he the one that's playing that's you? A, yes, I mean, yes, he did. But I mean, she, she just run her mouth. She, she got so, I can't stand this girl. She got so much mouth, she drama. She put a mouth and stuff that ain't got nothing to do with her. What me and John got going on ain't got nothing to do with her. She think John want her. John don't want her. John is using for her for her money. He's very but money. does John home. want you? Huh? I don't want John. I don't know if John want me. I don't want John. I left John and moved forward but with those, my life. So, so why are you here? The, for a DNA test. Because he says that the children yeah, are Yeah, yes, he's listening to her and, and people on the street. But you say you didn't have sex with anybody else. Well, with my daughter, it's a possibility. But I know for sure my son is his, 100%. Okay. And you don't like the new girlfriend because no, I you can't. think she's putting in this head that he's not the father of your not children? Not only that, but she drama and she runs her mouth too much. She put and you're not drama at all. Uh-uh. Um, not at all. And they have a baby together now, right? Yes. So John's the father of, of her child? He say he is. And how do you feel about that? I mean, I don't like Nicole or her daughter. W why? Why don't you like your daughter? She's a baby. Because I feel that if she wasn't in the picture, then me and John can be together and be a family, and we wouldn't have that. But you don't want John. I don't want him no more. But at one time, you did want John. Yeah, one time. And you feel at one time. Yeah, one time. Well, that time one time, you him. had a son. You're right. Um, <laughs> let's bring out, uh, possibly, definitely the father of one, you say, mm -hmm. possibly of your little girl. He left you, or you threw him out, now he's with mm -hmm. Nicole. You don't like Nicole, mm -mm. and you don't like the daughter mm -mm. either. She's how old? 12, 11 months. 11 months, mm -hmm. and you don't like her. Mm -hmm. um, let's bring out John. <laughs> but you're a damn liar. You hear what? You never denied my kids before. When I seen that Facebook message. Okay, you seen that You messed with no man. Never you never tell no man. Is this job? I can't get you to get stop. a blood well, test for my son. Stop, listen. You, you never you wanted swear. it. You can't swear. You never wanted it. You I, just started denying my daughter. Were you not, were you not around the call? You called me every day. What my kids doing? But when you with her, she I not never called you. I didn't hold her Yeah, ass. you called never. me every never. single day. You sorry as hell. You a deadbeat. You need to take care of your kid. You sorry. 
You is crazy as hell. Right now, I just want to choke her right now. It's not wrong. Yes, I did abuse her. Well, then you got to stand up. Now you have a child with Nicole. Yes. She harasses Nicole every day. Tell me she hoped the kid die. I wish death on you and your daughter. Did the little bitch die yet? You is crazy as hell. Right now, I just want to choke her right now. It's not wrong. Yes, I did abuse her. Well, then you got to stand up. I tried to get you to get a blood test for my son. You ain't never won it. You was with me ever since I was four months pregnant with my daughter. You was at the hospital with me the whole time. I want to know how hospital with you. you what? One day. I got one day. John. One day. You just said you weren't at the hospital. One Make day. Make your mind up. Not on the whole day. Make your mind up. That's because I was asleep. Dummy. Don't play. Don't play. Don't play. You was crazy as hell. Don't play. That's okay, but you crazy too. You know you was crazy. But you crazy You was really too. crazy. I know. Nothing but a hoe. I know. Okay. Nothing but a hoe. But you love it. Nothing but a hoe. I, I ain't never loved it. You was just never loved it. three weeks ago trying to get me pregnant again. You's a damn lie. Yeah. Man, you's a lie. Okay, you can never John. say that. John, you just know Nicole here and you scared. That's all. Did he sleep with you? That's all. Yes, he did try to get me pregnant three weeks ago. What? Again. You was in your land. Why, why are you sleeping with them three weeks ago? I don't sleep. I did sleep with her three weeks ago. And she did sleep with her because she's a hoe. But you love it. Oh, jump you off. Love hold, it. On, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. you love Wait. it. Hold jump on. Off. You love it. Hold on. Jump off. You love it. Okay. You can't leave it alone, could it? Okay. I thought so. But can't you leave it alone? Oh, I done left him alone. I don't deal with him. The point is, you come on here and you're like just, you know, going all off on the guy. But three weeks ago, you're sleeping with him. I sure did. He was Why like, though? What? Mistake. It was a mistake. Oh, mistake, my. It ass. was a mistake. You just, you just Old said bitch. you ain't had, you just said you ain't had sex with me, John. Make your mind up. You confused, ain't you? You confused, cause you, you don't know who your, who your you? kids, your father is. Hold on. You confused. John. Hold on. Hold on. You confused. John. Hold on. Hold on. I John. hope you ain't they daddy. Hold on. And I hope you ain't they mama. <laughs> and I hope you ain't she should have right. raised a better man. That's what she should have okay. done. Listen, John. John. Yes, Steve. Did you sleep with her three weeks ago? I ain't sleep with that girl. She said just, lying. He just said he slept with me three weeks ago. He confused me. So you can shut Steve. up because you Steve. was dysfunctional. Steve, he confused. No. Tell you, you what you want me to hear so you can shut up. One. Okay. Don't, don't make me. Listen, how don't long? Make me. She says that you met uh, one night stand. You slept yeah, with her. Yes. She had a son. Yes. She and she says that's your son. Do you believe that? I start having doubts when I seen that Facebook message, stating saying. What Facebook message? A Facebook message stating that stating to another man that is his child. No, my daughter said right. My daughter, not my son. My daughter. So why is you telling this other my man daughter. it's his child? My daughter. It's a possibility, John. What so you now I'm having doubts about my you son now. The only one now. Okay, you can have doubts. Why you get his name tattooed on you, John? Why you sign his birth certificate? Because I was stepping why up to the plate. To the hospital, because I was stepping John? up to the plate. Obviously, this relationship is no more. It won't no relationship. Well, one night stand, oh, jump off. God, what, what, what am I doing here? Jump off. Jump off. How am I, you love me, How you gonna get pregnant at the first John, time? Huh? You love Huh? How you get pregnant okay. the first time? Stop. You ain't wearing a condom, remember? Okay, okay. Go to school, they'll teach you something. Okay. No, go, go to speech to class. Go to speech class. I'm taking this one time, John. One time. And, and again, yeah, Stop you should have worn a condom if you don't want to get Stop pregnant. Stop playing. And you, you should have made sure the guy wears a condom. Stop playing. Stop playing. You're okay. a grown okay. man. You should okay. choose it yourself. Come on. Come on. Stop playing. Don't play. But obviously, don't from play. what she's saying, you obviously thought you were the father. You put your name yes, on the up. You got a tattoo on you with your son's name. Um, so it wasn't a one-night stand because you, exactly. slept, you slept with her more than once. I'm going to ask you to leave the stage just for a minute, and I'm going to talk to him and bring you back out. That's your piece of Mr. Maria. It's not very often I get to sit there in a show, you know? Um, so you got yourself involved with a very emotional woman. Oh, yes, Steve. Yes, I have. Okay. Crazy and deranged. So, you know, the first time you met her, ooh, wow, she's a hot female, right? Yeah, she was quiet, walking around, innocent. 
Joe yeah. Thorne. I don't see. I think you're lying. I think you're lying already. I mean, I don't think she was we had quiet. A party. Yeah, she was quiet. Okay. Innocent. Innocent. Just sitting there, how I did all night. You know how girls go through, like you know, jump offs. <laughs> That's the definition of it. Jump offs. Okay. So you uh, you sweet talker, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you you took her somewhere and you slept with yeah. her, right? She gets pregnant. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So you're with her for a while, right? Yes, I whipped her for a while. She says you abused her. Yes, I yes I did abuse her. Well, then you got to stand up. Okay. Um, now, why would you do that? She drives me to do this. Okay. No matter. Listen, and I understand she drive you crazy with all that, you know, blah blah blah. But wouldn't you just say? I'm gonna walk out the door. I try to do that. She blocks me in the room, won't let me go okay. nowhere. I try to get my clothes. So you, she but grabbed you, my clothes. You admit that you punched her, or yes. You say it like it's like it was. It's like, not wrong. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. From a female like that, she talks about my my my. Now you have a child with a cold. Yes. She harasses Nicole every day. Tell me she hoped the kid she, died. I wish death on you and your daughter. Did the little bitch die yet? You are on a voicemail hoping a child dies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bitch, you up your ass. You your ass, Bitch, you up your ass. Now you have a child with Nicole. Yes. She harasses Nicole every day. Tell me she hoped the kid she, die. I wish death on you and your daughter. Did the little bitch die yet? If you were my son and you were saying this right now, I would be so humiliated. I would be embarrassed that my child would think it's all right to hit a woman. Yeah, it's not that type of woman. I don't care any type of woman. You're a grown that man. That type of woman. You're a grown man. First of all, you got yourself in the situation, and you can extract yourself from the situation without physical violence. I don't need to explain that to you. I mean, listen. The little bit of time on my stage, I can see where, if you're involved with her, it gets pretty crazy. Yo, it gets crazy. It right. gets crazy. Right, right now, I just want to choke but her right now. <laughs> but it's not right to hit females. But that type of female, she is crazy. Listen. If you just hear some of the things she says. I understand that. But the, the thing is, you got yourself into it, and you can get yourself out. And what disturbs me is, you are justifying your actions of beating a woman. How do you do that? You have children. You're a father. How do you stand on the stage knowing that your children might hear this someday, that you think it's OK? Yeah, it's not right. So you agree with me. It's not right. It's not right. OK. But she deserved it. <laughs> All right. Um, now you have a child with Nicole. Yes. Do you abuse Nicole? I have in the past, but I, this is way in the, in the past. Um, how long ago? Probably like a year ago, two years ago. Yeah. Do, do you see this as kind of an ongoing problem with you with just about every female that you're with? Well, that one drove me to do it. Uh, what did Nicole do? Just my attitude. OK, so it's really not the female, it's you. Yes, it is, that one. No. Um, Um, I know this isn't a big part of the story, but after the show, if you'd like to get some help with your anger and yes. how you deal with, with women, we'd certainly like to offer that to you. Um, now, you say Diane harasses Nicole. Harasses Nicole every... Diane, like, she's innocent. She harasses Nicole every day. Since last year, harassment, harassment. Called in the hospital, talking about she hoped the kid she... die. She calls Nicole in the hospital yes. and says, I hope your kid dies. Yes. Calls my daughter names. What does she call her? Down, got Down syndrome. Does your daughter suffer no, from Down syndrome? No, sir. Oh, she doesn't have Down no, syndrome. No, sir. I'm glad to hear that. But she, Diane says this to Nicole. Says a whole lot of mean things. Let's bring Diane back out. <laughs> and without a lot of screaming here, somewhat controlled, you said you don't like his daughter. I don't. She's 11 months old. Okay.
He says that you call the baby uh, Down syndrome, looks like Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. She do. All she do is sit right there, stare at you like this all day. She, she fooling me. I sure did, you call, I do. You call uh, names to the baby? And no, I don't train at all. And don't act like I just harassed her, boo. You, you filling her head up. Um, some of the emails you sent to Nicole, you and your ugly ass bald headed daughter. I sure did send her. Should have dies in the tornado. Tell your daughter I said, tuck her with her bald added ass. I know, tell. I hope that Down syndrome get better because she's an ugly ass little bitch. Now you posted, this is, you can't dispute this stuff because you posted on her Facebook account. It, or you posted on your Facebook. Um, you posted Nicole's phone number and you wrote, if you want your here's Nicole's oh, phone yeah, number. Oh yeah, I did that. I did that. They called it too. I, I did it. I did it. And then you posted, she stay with her, you're talking about Nicole's one-year-old daughter. And, and I gotta say, this is very disturbing. I said what? I'm gonna read it. I find it very disturbing that you, as a mother, you don't have any empathy for another child, another woman's daughter. What did okay. I say? I did. She stay with her mouth open. If she ain't ready, did you know she gonna the mean one? I said that about Nicole, not no child. Sorry, she can't because he don't with ugly, bald-headed bitches. Yeah, I said that. Now you see what I'm talking about? OK. Um, now you see what I'm talking about? Mm hmm I do, too. Well, it's not exactly like you're full of moral fiber yourself, John. Um, exactly. But you really, as much as you complain about him, you really drag yourself to a really a low level. I don't know if we've ever had anybody on my show and I've had a lot of bad characters up here. I, I've never heard anybody describe a child in such a mean and vicious way. I wish death on you and your daughter. Did the little bitch die yet? You are on a voicemail hoping a child dies. Mm -hmm. She crazy. She certainly didn't know that they brought this voicemail to be played. Please don't let him be the father. Read here, oh not the father. Oh Let's find out the results. Please don't let him be the father. I wish death on you and your daughter. Did the little bitch die yet? You are on a voicemail hoping a child dies. Mm -hmm. We're talking about babies here. These aren't even like adolescents. These are, are babies. And you're being so vicious to a, a baby. I, I don't get that at all. I don't understand how that helps you, how it is to insult a, a woman about her child. What, what is that? What is that? I don't help? care nothing about her or her child. I know you don't. I don't. Then why even say anything? If you don't care, if you don't care, why say anything? Why, why are you spending your time and energy that you could be trying to be a good mother worrying about this other woman and her child? She'll be all right. She will be okay, and their child will too. And whose child is this? This is the child with the, you say, that looks like she has Down daughter. syndrome. Mm -hmm. That's this her. is your daughter. And what's, what, what is wrong with that little girl? What? You don't find that, her? That's just a picture. That's just one picture. It's a picture of a child. OK. You don't find her beautiful? Mm-mm. OK. Um, I just would think that every mother in this audience would find your behavior despicable. OK. Um, This, is, this might be one of the craziest stories we've ever done on the show. You also use your own child for, to leave voicemails. Let's play it. We don't deal with kids with Down syndrome. Just have to say, bitch, nah. Say, Are you ready? Daddy. 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 Say, sorry.
sure did. I sure did. I sure did. I, I seriously, what was the point of this show? To get your ass locked up? DNA. Um, DNA. And I hope he acts you're, the you're, father. You are on a voicemail hoping a child dies. Mm -hmm. And I hope he ain't the father. You, you want these DNA results, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe you can try to pull him baby. Why, why would I give you anything? Okay. I mean, you're just a rotten, rotten human being. Okay. Okay, thanks to you. Thanks to you. Um, hold on. How do you feel that you made a child say such vile things? Good, because he is. He's a deadbeat. He need to tell me. That... Why are you dragging children into this It's okay. Affair? They mind. They mind. They mind. They mind. Um, certainly, uh, and the same, as much as I dislike you, um... It's okay. No, as much as I dislike okay. you, I, I have to, for the sake of your children, offer you some kind of help, counseling. No, I don't uh, need it. Yeah. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. And I, and I, I strongly encourage you to take it. Okay. Um, all right, I guess the call, right? Mm hmm Your girlfriend, the yeah. mother of your child's here, mm -hmm. let's bring her out. Shut up, please. Oh, she crazy. Um, oh, my talking. goodness. Yeah. No. That's Steve talking. I certainly okay. can't imagine that oh, this is, is a situation that you want to be in. Man, ever since nine, she been harassing me. You've been dealing with this for two yes, years. emails, um, phone calls, everything. Now, I, the whole audience, we played the voicemail tape that she left you. You didn't think they had that oh, that did. Oh, you didn't think that did. Stop what you mean? Crazy ass. She was a little. Get that noise, Nicole. You know what? Take her off stage just Kill for that a minute. She crazy. She certainly didn't know that they brought this voicemail to be played. Please don't let him be the father. Bree oh here, not the father. Let's find out the results. Please don't let him be the father. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. She crazy. She certainly didn't know that they brought this voicemail to be played. Please don't let him be the father. Bree here, oh not the father. Oh Let's find out the results. Please don't let him be the father. When you hear somebody talk about your child like that, it's got to be, uh, yeah. no matter what, even if it comes from a lunatic, it's got to hurt. Somebody's talking oh, yes. about your child. Uh, wish, wishing, you know, I don't She called me it. in the hospital. The whole time before I was discharged. While you were pregnant. Yes, uh, when I had the delivering baby. Delivering the baby. Yes. She's calling you and saying Harassing. what? Harassing. Just, I saying wish, what? I like, wish, um, I wish really? death on you and your daughter. Did the little bitch die yet? She, um, the whole time. She'll call even ask for him. Did you ever consider pressing, like, police charges against her, uh, legal charges? Uh-uh. For harassment? No. To get her out of your life? She, she, I don't know. I didn't, though. I but mean, I thought about it lately, though. Right, because I'm but, saying, who, oh, she crazy. who would want to live like that? She crazy. Now, and he said he's been abusive to you. Yeah, that's been a few years ago. Okay, so he's but changed. He, yes, he be watching our daughter and everything. He okay. be calling, checking Good the father bone. now? Yes, very proud uh, of how him. How do you feel that he, do you believe he's the father of these two other kids with uh, Diane? I think the little boy is. I'm not sure about the little girl because I don't know too and much. And she even said that yeah. he might not possibly be the father. And, and you want to stay with John? I mean, yeah, we, if, if she just stopped what she doing, causing now, all this what problem. what about the fact that she slept, she slept with them three weeks ago? He was with me three weeks. He been with me before she had that baby, okay. for real. So you don't believe that no. she slept with them? Mm-mm. All right. What if he did? 
He just did. Okay. I mean, just, he right. just did. Hey, man. Some people don't but, have problems. But she just, I don't believe. You don't just, believe it. No, because he been with me, for real. Okay, so we're going to bring Diane back out. I don't even want to see her. You don't believe he was with me. You dropped him off with me. Stop man, playing. No, you, you don't. Dropped don't, him don't off sit with here me. and lie, Diane. You dropped him off you. with me. Stop playing. OK. Stop I, playing. OK, you, you saying if I saw you, you, I would drop him you off met, with you? You met, You was crazy. You met, met, Diane. I wouldn't drop a red off at your house. You, you, you crazy. crazy. You dropped him off never. Hey, your mom's here. I'll see hey, you in North Carolina. Your mom's here. Oh, I'll see you in North Carolina. You scared. Can you? I'll take care of my job. Let's bring her out. Hey, girl, you stop playing. Bitch, I won. I got a job. I got a job. Take it back. Take it back. Hold your ass down. Tell all your bitch. What is that? I got a job. 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 I got a Again, um, and I see you're crying, and this is. Cause I can't believe she on TV act like she ain't got no common sense. And and I think at some level, I think she thought she could get away with a lot of stuff that she did. Um, she certainly didn't know that they brought this voicemail to be played. I don't care. Um, and I bet, uh, and I showed him though she listen, had my grandchild listen, on the phone saying. He's no angel either. He sure ain't. He ain't no angel. He said he wanted to choke her. But right. I'm her mama, let him choke me. Okay, and nobody's gonna do that. He ain't the man! She's 19, I'm gonna choke me. Regardless of how she you don't put your hand on my child. That's my child. That's my child. Tell him. Well, you need to raise him right then. I what did, you need to do. You ain't raise him. Wait, mama, fuck me up in court. That's what I'm doing. Me. Okay. I wanna I wanna know from especially you and from her. And then she brought with the coat for the wrong reason. You wanna take it off, but you need to take it out on him. He's sleeping with you and sleeping with what? her. She brainwashing him. She ain't got nothing to do she with it. She ain't got nothing to do with it. She can't. He's a grown man. She crazy. Well, she sadly crazy. enough, your daughter said just three weeks ago she's sleeping with him. She ain't lying. She left, but and the, I believe she slept with but him. But that's is, why I know where she was at. But the point is, if she did this. Why in the hell is your daughter sleeping with him if he's such a bad guy? You need to tell me why, because I don't know. Well, she ain't mine. Right now, I'm ashamed to say she mine. Uh, uh, <laughs> I told her to fool her, and she on TV acting like a fool. All right. Um, God, these people think I raised her like that. So, you know what? I really didn't want to read the DNA results, because I'm like, oh, why should I give her anything, I right? I hope he ain't a father. I pray to God but he ain't. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna do this for everybody else on the stage. Really not for you either, but you get Please the benefit. Cause they never know better than the other. Both exactly. of them, neither one of them exactly. need exactly. no kids. Exactly. Be the father. Please don't. All right, uh, this DNA test well, is, is, is... I take care of them anyway, so I'm their father, so it don't matter what the results say. You are the father. You got that right. This little guy's how old? Don't let him be the father. 18, 18 months, months, months. He's known you as dead? Yeah. I mean, it would be sad if you weren't the father, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, it will be sad. John? This little guy's how old? Don't let him be the father. 18, 18 months, months, months. He's known you as dead? Yeah. I mean, it would be sad if you weren't the father, right? Yeah. Well, let okay. him be sad. Oh, yeah, it will be sad. John? The two-month-old DNA test. Let's find out the results. Please don't let him be the father. Well, you got your wish. He's yes. not the father of Thank Diane. Thank God. Thank God. Y'all trust me. Y'all ain't got, got to get. You all got to get. You all got to get. You ain't got to get. Hold on. Hold on. Trust. Don't let my son be you his know, neither. You're not the father of the little girl. You've been under the impression that you have been a father. What's your reaction to that? Please don't let jump him be the father of my son. Please jump over. Please jump over. Please don't let him be the 
you follow you my phone. Chris, what's your reaction to not being the father of this little girl that you thought you were? Well, really, I ain't got no, no more drama now with that. Because she got to call me 24 7, call my phone restricted at all times of but, night. But you still could be the don't father. Please let him be my son. I want to be the father of. Okay, now this little guy's how old? Don't let him be the father. 18, 18 months. months. Old. You want this guy, right? Yes, Please I do. don't let him. He's known you as dead? Yeah. I mean, it would be sad if you weren't the father, right? Yeah. Well, let okay. it be sad. Oh, yeah, it will be sad. You have this little boy's name tattooed on you. Yes, sir. That okay. she paid for. So you're right. Please get her some help. Please don't let him be the father. We oh, here are not head. the father. I want to hear you. John, you are not the father. Yes! 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 For being on the show. Thank uh, you. Please Clay. take your daughter and get her some help. Thank you. Thank you. Get her off. Get her off. Orlando, get her off. I I'm want her quiet. off. Goodbye. Go back over there. Oh, my goodness. Um. Oh, my goodness. The oh one, I mean, besides Charlene, she seems like, you know, she's hard. All of them crazy, for real. All of them crazy. She's, she's, that's got to be hard to hear your daughter acting that way, your own child. She knows she had like that. But it's still hard. And, again, you're no angel in this. I know I'm not. You, you, you're not the good guy in this. But we do have, uh, you, you've stayed above <laughs> it all. Even your responses, leave me out of this. Oh my on the Facebook, the crazy responses, yeah. all that. Um, but now, here you you kind of like busted out of jail. That's what I look at it for like. For real, you should like, be happy as hell. For real. I just feel for her kids. And what? She gonna call his phone tonight, private. What 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 y'all doing? What you doing? He gonna she gonna be called? Uh, still gonna be this, just crazy know, as hell. It's like you busted out of Rikers, you know. You're running, and and don't stop running. You know what I mean? The dogs are on you. You gotta beat the dogs, and you gotta go. You know. For real, it's She's like, crazy. And I know. It's got to hurt, especially thinking a child's yours for two years. Two years. That's got to hurt. I'm not going to downplay that. Um, we, last year and, they and you know, and you, know what, you know what it sucks for? The little boy. 18 months old. He's looking at you as dead. Um, and, and, and now who knows who his dad is, right? She don't know. She don't know. Even though everybody has answers on this stage, everybody got the answers. We found out shocking answers. Very that shocking. You, that you're not the father of these two children. Mm. But is anything really going to change now? Oh, yes. it better change because yes. she's going to have a good bag if it don't. Her. And you're definitely not going to sleep with her gonna, anymore. No, I'm not even going to deal because with her. I would think that would he be. He shouldn't even want to sleep with her. That, that might be the biggest colossal mistake anybody's ever made on the planet. If you go back sleep with her and would actually end up getting her pregnant. Can you imagine that? Oh, nope. Never. Oh, my See, goodness. you say that, and I think maybe in a week you'll be over. No. <laughs>
incredibly fast way. Just keep this out of your life. Move. Do whatever yes. you got to do to get this drama out of your life so you could hopefully have a nice, peaceful family on this end. Yes. Because if you don't make a change once you walk off the stage, it ain't going to be her that suffers. and who, You don't care about her, but it's going to be your children that suffer if you keep acting this way. Right. Um, <laughs> and if he ever puts his hands on you, you call me right after you call the police, all right? Okay. All right, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you.